Hello, 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 and welcome back to the final episode of the season of Stoppage Time TV, Sunday afternoon, a little bit earlier today. You know what I'm saying? It's unusual. Yeah, a little bit unusual, but we thought, hey, wake up the cobwebs, you know what I mean? Bring you some early Sunday afternoon content. Appreciate everybody joining. Listen, you're back with myself, Fuad, of course. My co-host, Coach Cams. Maze ain't here this week, of course. Father's Day. Shout out all the fathers out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? All tight, the father's collectors. We got themselves. <laughs> the, father collectors. The, the child collectors, the child shall collectors. I say. <laughs> hey. We got, you know what I'm saying? And of course, taking his place. My man, production, of course. Leah's, how are you, bruv? You good? That's well, my fourth appearance on the show. Hey, man, listen, you're yeah. part of the furniture now, Appreciate man. Listen, it, everybody bro. knows you're almost like a, a fourth Migo. Member, you know what Honorary I'm saying? Member, <laughs> 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 Was it why are in lingo? <laughs> Right, it listen. was not. It was originally Rich right. the Kid. Oh, Rich the Kid. Yeah, all right. Kid. That's Rich the it. Kid. Rich the Kid. <laughs> hey, he is the kid. See how they doing it, man. <laughs> hey, listen. Nah, big up, though. Big up. I appreciate everyone joining as well. Make sure you're getting involved in the conversation in the chat as well. Like the video as you're coming in. If you're enjoying the stream, like as well. If you're watching this afterwards, we'd appreciate it as well. Help the algorithms. And yeah, listen, today's going to be a lighthearted one. Final day of the season. Mm -hmm. There's no real action, but we thought, you know what I mean, there's a few topics here and there to get mm. into, some end of season awards to get into. Mm. Where do we kind of want to start and get the ball rolling? <laughs> uh, bro, you know, when it's like the end of the season, the summer kind of time, and obviously the Champions League's happened, everyone, let's keep it 100. We've all heard all types of breakdown. We've all, the, the treble talk has happened. Everything's yeah, yeah, happened. Yeah. We've done a stream about that as well. Go and check that out. But there's in the summer, there's always these random things that pop up and stuff, right? And I don't know if anyone can see the thumbnail right now, but I think arguably the biggest bit of social media content yeah. in a long, 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 long time pause <laughs> happened yesterday in in Speed, finally meeting Cristiano Ronaldo. Bro, sweet! Bro, yo, that moment, yeah. Bro, and do you know what's funny about that, yeah? yeah? I'm not even gonna lie, yeah. I was randomly, I was on YouTube and in, in my thing, it just had live in Portugal, gonna meet Ronaldo or something. I was like, mm? clicked on it. He was there with Rui Costa. I'm bro, like, you, yo, you know what he said to Rui Costa? He's like, oh, are you the president of Portugal? <laughs> Yeah, he yeah, don't bro. even know him as a player. He just knows no, him as a president. Like, I think I packed you on FIFA, <laughs> bro. He's like, he's like, oh yeah, he's going to Rico. Rico like, oh yeah, go downstairs then. If you want to meet Ronaldo, hey. like, he's taking pictures of his family. He's like, go downstairs then. Go downstairs. They're all there. I'm like, nah, wait a second. Is this actually gonna happen? Then he meets his sister. He meets his brother. That guy yeah, that yeah, looks yeah. like that's his brother. It's yeah. his brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like some <laughs> doppelganger. Or something, some fake Ronaldo. That's like, a do body no, double. Let's, <laughs> let's see our negative three. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> So, literally, he goes and meets this, um, meets them, whatever. He's gassing up. Yeah. And after he goes downstairs, then he, then Jao Felix pulls up. He's like, "Hey, Felix, I'm my brother, my brother." I'm like, "Yo, this guy's life is lit," you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Liao comes through. That was the one where I was yeah. like, "Cause yeah. Liao is always it's the lookalike, yeah. isn't it?" So it was always like, "Hey, yeah." yeah. You that? And the fact that he stepped out of the way was yeah, like, no, Liao shows a mad love." All I was time, like, man. "You Bro, know what, Fez?" He was like, "Oh yeah, um, that's you meet, my you meet Cristiano, yeah, yeah, yeah." yeah, yeah his yeah, English yeah. is funny as well. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> He's like, "Oh, that's my brother. That's my brother." Boom, yeah. boom, boom. So they were chilling with each other. And I'm just watching this, like, I'm actually just watching it live, like, am I about to witness this brother meeting me? Like, I don't watch this guy's streams that like, yeah, I respect yeah. what he does, but, and then after I go and see, then obviously the Ronaldo moment happened. And I'm not going to lie, I feel like everyone, even if you're a hater, I feel like you felt something there, bro. Yeah. I, I've never been a hater of speed. I like speed. Yeah, yeah, I think do your thing. Young, young people go and get it. You know what I mean? But when I saw that moment, I was like, yeah, this what is, is nice, bro. This yeah, no, nice. 100%. Nice. Bro, it's an incredible moment. It's like, the thing is, yeah, is we've almost, do you know why I feel like as well? It's because we've seen his journey into football. Let's be honest. Well, he was a streamer. He was doing gaming or whatever he was. He was the, yeah. the roid rage kid, basically, <laughs> on streams. And then it was like the World Cup, basically, was what kind of... That was that Sui that, moment, innit? It, it was, sorry, it yeah. Was yeah. And Kristen it was like, Ronaldo. No, but Sui. he saw the, he saw the <laughs> Ronaldo comp, and it yeah. was like, yeah, I'm a Ronaldo guy. And he's, yeah. he immediately chose his cards on the B from the goal. It was like, yeah. all right, the two goals. Yeah. Then it was like the build up to the World Cup, dropped the little song. So we've yeah, almost yeah. like seen... I saw him doing 20 key for the other day. I was like, I remember bro, when this record technique too. Kick a ball straight. <laughs> he was feet. missing the ball completely. Yeah, doing both feet. Bro, both I was like, feet. you know what? Credit to him. So I think that's what it is. It's almost like a wholesome moment where you've seen a kid discover something and now he's meeting yeah. that yeah. same I think brother. it shows the power of the internet, to be honest that with you, bro. As well. like, and I saw people on Twitter yesterday 
but I think Twitter is just a miserable app to be honest with you. But Come they on. were saying like, oh, he's going to look back on this moment and almost like regret the way he acted towards him. But I said, first of all, Ronaldo is going to remember. I, I, I was like, I was like, first of all, <laughs> you guys take yourselves too seriously. If anyone saw their idol in front of them like that, mm -hmm. to the extreme of like Ronaldo or Messi or MJ mm -hmm. or LeBron. Especially as an 18, 17 year old, bro, you're acting the exact same way. Plus, the the, the way Speed even met Ronaldo was by putting on this yeah, act, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. So I loved it. It was a but full all of a circle sudden, moment. Tone it down, yeah, it bro. Yeah, that's safe, who he is. You're bro. like you you've shriveled in a moment. Yeah, bro. but I think that's the most important thing for me. Yeah, I would. I remember thinking, looking at it initially, I was like, bro, you're, you're getting a little too crazy. Yeah. Calm down. But then I was like, bro, we're 17. Like when we were all 17, if we met. Who we thought was a goat at the time, bro? We would have gone crazy. Bro, for me, it's like give the kid a little bit yeah, of a break, man. man for right. me, it was it, it was a wholesome moment. I was, was just like, wholesome, you know, what? It was let him moment. have his moment. Do you know what I mean? It yeah. changed his life. Like Ronaldo, people are saying, oh, you don't even watch football, so how can Ronaldo yeah. make you feel that way? Yeah, but it changed his life, bro. Yeah. Like he was already a big streamer, which you can respect in it. Like he was already doing his thing, as you said. That's why he was getting donations. Bro. Yeah, yeah. But obviously that Sui moment changed his whole- He did, he did it all with him. Oh. He tried to do it all with him in the yeah, beginning. Yeah, he did it. He went, he went, oh, yo, I did it for Marcelo. <laughs> Marcelo, my friend, bro. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, nah, do you know what? Yeah, that's a, that's a big moment. That changed his life. That kid's a millionaire now and stuff. Yeah, I'm trying to say. He went, so. He's on 17 million subscribers. Before this whole Ronaldo thing, what was he on? Like five, yeah. four? I don't even- okay, He was a big streamer, but bro, yeah. he has like, he's a superstar now. Yeah, the fact bro. that professional footballers just know who he is, it all started for me. The, the first one I saw was Alanga. Mm -hmm. And Alanga was like, yeah, bro, he knows who you are, yeah. man. The, 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 the bark killed me because yeah. you know what, yeah? <laughs> He didn't do that bark of conviction. <laughs> yeah, no, he, you know, he didn't he need to hold back he, a little. He did the bark like, I'm going to do it because <laughs> it's my brand, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I don't want to look like a nerd. You see, you see what Ronaldo did, by the way? He's like, relax, relax. Yeah, so yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah. my fault, my fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, did. <laughs> that was a fucking growl, the yabby, bro. The little yummy dog. <laughs> Into a chihuahua. <laughs> nah, that was hilarious. But nah, I just thought that was a moment that, that just, that just, I don't know. It was just a mad moment. It's and a mad social yeah, media. I, he, he, sorry, bro. He got more likes than Cristiano Ronaldo. That Cristiano Ronaldo's last race. Cristiano Ronaldo is the oh, most no. followed guy in Instagram history. Like you know, there was one or two streamers talking about, hey, man, he's giving Ronaldo some clout. Nah. Like, nah. Right, nah. Oh, that's, you that's don't have like gone too far now. That's like the American. You don't have gone too far. But one thing I'll say about speed, right? The last thing I got to really put on this. I think, honestly, inadvertently, he's actually helping the sport grow in the US, yeah. bro. Because kids who the never watched football, like he's, he, was, he had an American audience. No one in the Agreed. UK was watching speed like that. Fully. Just off him watching comps and like him making that song, and mm. he's bringing more eyes to the sport. Oh, nah, I agree. So big up. Yeah, but him. it's funny though that Bradley guy that donated the money is English. Oh the yeah, guy yeah, that yeah that's said, true. Who's better? Who do you, who's your goat or whatever? Yeah, that's true. It's an English guy, so it's weird how things Crazy. are lying in yeah. it. But Crazy. yeah, that's all my. But there's been other stuff that that's been going on as well, um, which again is like off the pitch of football. Yeah. Um, what's my man's name? Yeah, Martin Tyler, bro. Ooh, yeah, Tyler. big transfer, That's a legend. Hey, I can't lie. A lot of people are celebrating him leaving. I'm like, nah, you guys weren't <laughs> Someone outside. called I'm him breaking. washed, bro. He's 77 years old, bro. Bro, like, 77. <laughs> this is like when people are talking about, oh, let Fergie come manage today. I'm like, come brother, on. Ferguson's 81. Let him rest. Nah, man. You know listen, what I mean? Let him rest. Uh, I, saw, I saw people commenting like, yo, he ain't had that same juice in the last five years. I'm like, bro, you're gonna oh, be aging. You're bro. gonna be like, I'm I just glad you were there to at least give me something. But here's the thing too, right? Like he's seen so many like iconic moments. He can't just guess up anything now. They want Aguero. And, and that, the thing with him too is I was watching back like his best moments when I on Twitter. Mm -hmm. They're all like long shots and screamers, like last minute winners. And he's pep 300 pass moves, like <laughs> some back post tap and they ain't moving him, bro. <laughs> bro. Do you know what? Do you know when the real downfall for people was, was the Ben Teke. Bro, and then Marcial right after. Bro, but the thing is, <laughs> but the thing is though context wise yeah Benteke's goal was a flash consolation bro. Yeah. it looked like a consolation at the time it was, we were 2-0 up yeah. uh, Benteke scored in a, a consolation goal it seemed right so I mean what's he gonna do to a 2 Benteke like 2-1 <laughs> it was a game it was a dead rubber game Man United and Liverpool were mid them days yeah. as well it, like but in the Martial moment, but let's be honest, the, there was some crazy hype yeah. around when Martial signed because the money, the Ballon d'Or clause that was in it. It was like, who is this guy as well? 
a lot of people knew him only through FIFA. He was like mad speed demon yeah, in FIFA, yeah, yeah. whatever. So there was this mad buzz around Martial. So when it happened, yeah, okay. I don't know about commentator oh, saying I've yes. never heard a commentator yeah. say yes. yes. Now, a commentator saying yes. You know what yes. it is? I mean, he got carried away. He got lost in the moment, yeah. <laughs> but you know he's a United fan? Is he a United fan? Did he do a fist bump when he did that? I don't know. I don't know. He's not a United fan, though. He's, not, he, he's one of them guys that support. I just remember that Martial move, though. When it happened, it was like a... I don't know, United unearthed a gem, it yeah, felt yeah. like. <laughs> the fact that it was debut goal, Skirtle Liverpool, cooked him. Yeah, it was yeah. like a clean finish. Oh, yeah. Celebrate. <laughs> and he was, oh, yeah. and he was like, hey, he's invested. And that's the thing with him too, bro. Like, it's just the way he pronounces things, yeah. bro. Like, got obviously the worst moment as a United fan was the Aguero thing. But, bro, that commentary, like, rings in your ears. Is that bro, not, you don't... I don't want to sound crazy, but is, Aguero, is his commentary not bigger than... Some, it kind of feels bigger than the goal. Bro, P Mark, the Aguero. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, yeah, it, it has to go hand sense. in hand. Yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to do that when it does go hand in hand. No, no, speed no, no. game, Ronaldo, yeah, yeah. clout. The, but, let's, let's not get crazy, man. But, but you know, I'm just saying, <laughs> yeah. bro, the commentary is it, it's part of it. That's, nah, the, thing, part that's of the thing with Martin Tyler, right? Growing up, and I'll, obviously, he's going to retire soon now. He is His voice is synonymous with the sport, bro. Mm -hmm. He is the voice of football. No doubt yeah. about it. Uh, bro, no, that, I that's agree. The voice of the Premier League, I said. I think he's the voice of football for me. Yeah. But when I think of commentators, I've always thought of Martin Tyler. Bro, Martin Tyler has had so many moments. Like when you, when I was looking at his best moments, obviously a lot of them, I'm, I just know in it. But when you're looking at the Gerard, oh. you know, when Andy Gray's, oh, you're beautiful. He's done it. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's done it. Oh my days. That think, the only one before that I can kind of think of is John Motson. Oh, man. But yeah. even he was BBC, kind of more yeah. BBC match, match of the day. The day. Like yeah. you wouldn't maybe see full live yet unless it was FA Cup or yeah. something like that. But yeah. Martin I think Tyler's a bro. The guy is a legend. When I'm seeing people celebrate, obviously majority of it will be the new gen kind of fans, which, okay, it's understandable. If you, if you only start tapping into Martin mm. Tyler from 72 mm. plus, then you might think he's a mid commentator, which I get. But bro, the, the amount of stuff that he's given, he's given the iconic <laughs> moments. What's your man, favorite like, one? Your favorite Martin oh. Tyler? It can be the Aguero one in terms yeah, of like the me, quality I, of the I commentary. Say, yeah. I feel like that's become, that's his, his posted stamp. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. But at the same time, you can say he's probably his best in it, but ah, bro, that, that, that drug bar, even beyond that. That drug bar is crazy. Come like, on! Like, oh my god, he's bro. done it! I'm you like, tell, you that can problem. tell which players moved him in it, mm. that, and I think that's what the thing with commentators you want to you almost want to feel the emotion that mm. they're speaking yeah, through, yeah, yeah. and I think he was one of those that gave you that. But I think his replacement in coming in now mm. though, in Peter Drury. What do you lot make of that one? Because I personally yeah, like that. Really? And I'm seeing people are kind of split on that. Yeah. Do you know he's what? He's one for me. He's more of a eulogizer. Yeah. yeah he's more of like a, yeah, yeah. a storyteller, poetic. Poet, yeah, yeah. Like he, for finals, probably you yeah, want yeah, him yeah. more. But it's I kind of want to see, can you adapt that to the Premier League? Mm. Can you bring some new flavor? You can do it in the Premier League. Hey, <laughs> come do it in the Premier League. I say, hey, this is the big leagues now, you know? <laughs> Hey, say the World right. Cup when you get romantic. Say the World Cup, man. Go do it for Luton versus Burnley. Burnley, literally, bro. Tell me about companies, Burnley, bro. <laughs> you legitize about that. <laughs> yeah? Hey, what do you lot yeah. make of that one? Are you like, happy? I think that's a perfect signing replacement. Of course, apparently. definitely. Bro, Peter Drury is... is Okay, he's, he's not Martin Tyler in terms yeah. of iconic, but he's next up, bro. He, he's probably second up there with... Yeah. Uh, what's the other guy? Clive Tildesley. I think he's right, up there, yeah. too. Ooh. But... Yeah, he, that was the other one. I, I, I kept thinking there was one. Dirt, but, right, yeah. Yeah. Hey. For some reason. I don't know why. I don't yeah. know. Why. I always loved Clive Tilsey because I always said he pronounced Rooney's name the best for Rooney! Oh, yeah! bro. The Rooney! one against the one against Milan. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Give me goosebumps. But um, yo, uh, uh, Peter Drury is, is, is top, bro. This is the thing too. Everyone is a critic nowadays, bro. Everyone wants to have their opinion. So Martin Tyler for some people these days is dead. Peter Drury for some people does too much. He overdoes it at times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just enjoy him, man. I'm a big fan. Buffalo, Buffalo! Uh, hey. Yeah. Hey, nah, but nah, Peter Drury, I've always been a big fan. And actually, Peter Drury has reacted to one of my tweets. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, hold yeah. on, you've done he? something with him. Nah, so basically, um, I did a tweet about um, his commentary one time. Yeah. And he was doing, like, reacting to things about himself or whatever, or some shit. And in my tweet, came up or obviously this guy you know, twitter you know, global yeah, famous yeah, you know what i'm saying everybody hey, sees he, he's like yeah that's his favorite <laughs> moment that's his favorite moment he said the the bafana bafana um mm. shabalala moment that is like but i think he's good i think he's good one, but actually, again yeah. as you man are saying i feel like it's gonna be interesting to see listen at the end of the day commentary's commentary you're just gonna get on with it right yeah. no. but i i hope he doesn't i hope bro. he doesn't i do hope he saves 
yeah, those yeah, yeah. speeches for the right moments. I yes. hope it's not like vote in town. Yeah, yeah. one man. One. You know what I mean? Like, don't start. <laughs> this is your that moment. Would, that would be the moment where I turn on him when he starts <laughs> eulogizing about these nonsensical <laughs> stories. I'm like, hey, yo, Ryan Murphy, out, like, get, chill out, big man. Big man, relax. Bro, that's the thing. Like, I hope he saves it for the moment because yeah. yeah, yeah. remember the commentary for Cristiano when he returned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, that's that's what was it? Yeah. Madeira to to Manchester, yeah. Manchester to Madrid, what, Madrid to Turin. That's poetic. Right. That's like that's the right moment, yeah. but yeah, yeah. I just hope he doesn't now just start becoming a post. I do think though, like, like again in the World Cup in 2014, he's like the little boy from Rosario. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Wait, well, is that before yeah, he took yeah, the free kick? About that one. Yeah, we got our, we got that moment. We got our look back. We don't care about that one. We don't care about that one, bro. Because, bro, he was thinking in his head. When he was doing that, he's like, hey, this is going to be, hey, the hoes going to love this one. Yo, he forced it like crazy. No, no, no. And Messi just skied that. Messi. No, but that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's the funniest thing about this commentary. He was listening to Jury himself. Do you remember the commentary though? He's like, no, 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 no. Nah, but um, actually, going back quickly to your question, what's your favorite Martin Tyler moment? Oof. Actually, I think now, looking at it, I think, yeah, the. The Aguero. The Aguero, yeah. It's hard to argue against that one. Hey, that Makeda. Oh Ooh. my god, bro. You know what? I'm sure there's His voice broke so hard. Hey, man. let us know in the comments actually <coughs> what your if you have any one that you let remember. Let me tell you, you one. Even if you're watching this after. Do you remember um obviously it was old school, but remember um Tony Adams breaks through. Would you believe it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. With the left Will Tord! Bro, yeah, bro. He's got, <laughs> Will Tord was hard too, bro. He's got moments. The Kanu won against Chelsea, but I'll tell yeah, you the funniest you believe it? the funniest thing that I remember from Martin Tyler, right? If you remember De Gea in, in the, what's it called? The Capital One <laughs> Cup against Sunderland, right? Where the ball went through his head. And he's like, De Gea! De Gea! But bro, the funniest thing about that. I guys, know. if you go on Aditya Reds' YouTube account, bro, he made this comp on De Gea. Yeah. And what is the save where De Gea like, goes top corner? Like that? He used that commentary to oh. hype up the save, bro. But it's just De Gea letting it through his legs. Yeah. Wow. That shit killed Nuff. me. I didn't, um, don't forget, do you remember um, the, another one, which wasn't a shout -er, like a shout -er moment for Martin Tyler? Um, I think it was. Well, I think it was Messi's goal against Bolton. Um, uh, yeah, and he was just like, um, "Here he is again. Here he is Literally. again." Yeah, yeah. Where's my? That's what yeah. That is yeah. absolutely yeah. brilliant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, um, he's done that, yeah. it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big that one is yeah. Hard, just said it. Yeah, nah. He's had he's had some moments. So wait, who was the person that did? Um, he goes past one, he goes past two, he goes past three. When Messi went past Real Madrid, that was oh no, it was against Peter Drury. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, wonderful. that was Peter Drury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's he's next. Nah, up. Yeah. He's next up. He's I next saw up. someone throwing around Jim Beglin, bro. I was gonna say La Liga, the Jim sky. Wait, that's, no, no, that's um, that's pro, that's pro Evo. I'm Heritage. To Heritage. You guys, right you guys there. remember? Yeah. La, La, you guys had it, La Liga on Sky Sport. Yeah, yeah, Jerry yeah, Armstrong yeah, yeah. and the other guy. Yeah, Jerry, that's my brother, man. No, but it was Jerry Armstrong. I've done content with Jerry. Who was the other one, bro? Brother, um, you talking about Graham Hunter? Legend, but he didn't do commentary. Did he? No, 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 no. But I just remember him around yeah. the whole La Liga. He's always the one that I always used to look like. You gonna give me the what inside was the real other one, bro. La, la hey, Jerry Armstrong, man. When, hey. when he followed me on Instagram, yo, that was his that, that was, I was, uh, I was I was like, mate, I my was mom there. made it. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I was there, man. I was there. Hey. When every time he'll be talking about, uh, and that's Messi's 30th goal, and he leads the race for the Pachichi. <laughs> I'll be like, yo. But who was the one he did it with, bro? Oh, my. He even retweeted my stuff one time. Martin like, Tyler, Sanji, hi. G! Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he thought G was going to say, G skanked him. Yeah. And he's like, he's like, done it. <laughs> oh, yo, that was mad still. Yeah. That was actually. Oh, I can't and remember this the live is just going to be. Yeah, that's iconic. Well. Let's be honest. Yeah. That opening the live. started going. Huh? Started going. I, yeah. I, that is where I feel like people are saying the juice went. The and it's live. Yeah. It's what it became towards the end. I was like, <laughs> all right, bro, let's just get it underway. <laughs> oh, I wish I could remember the other commentary oh. from La Liga because he John was champion. doing. Somebody no. said John Champion. I don't know if it was John Champion. No, nah, nah. it wasn't. Who's John, John Champion, Champion was on in, Twitter. Wasn't he in Pro Evo as well? I feel like he was the one after Jim Beglin. Like when the new Pro Evos came out, I think they might have mm. used him. The one who went basically who did the commentary, it was like uh, Georgie Rob Best. Palmer. Yes, that's Rob who it is, bro. Yes. Georgie yeah, Best, up, Diego Maradona, yeah. Johan Cruyff. Yeah. Yeah. They're all getting outdone by this. Yeah, he, he's shout really out, good. Um, Day and Dub, Dubs. Day and day <laughs> for that Rob Palmer shot. Yeah, big up you, bro. Yeah. Ray Hudson does too much, man. He's too much of a messy rim. Back in the day, he used to be. Yeah, He's now. Too much of a messy yeah, rim, yeah. bro. No, but back in the oh, day, bro, man. when I was first like, getting into football, I heard was this he guy. loving it. Oh, nah, yeah. bro. Oh, that's where. No, that's where Leah's no, messy begins. Hold on, hold on. Nah. <laughs> He's like a Martian. He's been sent 
from Planet Pluto. No, but they're yeah, hey, this man. Oh, hold on. This he, little he had, he had, he had someone that. for Cristiano Ronaldo. He rocks my world. <laughs> he used to call Cristiano Ronaldo. He's like the Dark Invader. Yeah, no, he used to go hard. No. He used to go hard. He's like the Dark Invader's done it again, wow. bro. He wow. Ray Hudson and the other guy too, who's American, bro. They used to go hard. I agree. Hey, bro, with Messi, he went crazy. He's like he could dribble out of a telephone booth or something like right, that. Right nah, now, he was too. He was too much of a messy rim up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, he's my I he's mean, my go to co uh, commentary for comps though. Who Whenever I made a messy comp, hey, <laughs> let me load up some of that Ray Hudson. Yeah, I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, he's a he's a he's a robot, but man, let's anyway. Let's, let's, um, let's, let's move, move on to some summer transfers. I just said, do you want to go through some of these super chats? Yeah, oh, you actually, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Fuad Kadani's army goes. Fuad was there when Martin Tyler made his debut and met Pele in sixty. Yo, yo, this age thing's getting out of hand. I saw man. I'm telling me the other day I was there for the 1926 Huddersfield. <laughs> I said, yo, listen, one day I will reveal my age. One Keep day. that shit to yourself, old man. Ain't <laughs> <laughs> nobody trying to hear all that. Little <laughs> kids! Uh, AJ says, I'll be honest about Peter Jury, though. Those poems when you're 3-0 down against your rivals were hurt. Have men punching their TVs. Imagine what he would have said after 7-0. He would have said some next up. Like, seventh heaven! Bro, seventh heaven. Side. Seven times. Bro. He, he would have oh, said man. something scary. Bro. United look like the seven little dwarves. Mm. He would have said something about heaven. <laughs> yeah, seventh devil. heaven, red devils, yeah, yeah. Klopp's angels. Or something. Yeah. Yeah, 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 keep yeah. that shit to yourself. Hey, there's one other one as well. Uh, Chike sent. He said, question for all three of you. Mm. What makes a great pass of the ball? And the second question is, who's the What did you great call him? Chike. Nice one, see? What did I call him? Cheek. Let's call him Cheeks. No, I hey, can't. yo, come <laughs> on, <laughs> man. No, hold up. Come on. No, that's it. Well done. Culture, brother. Brother. Come it's on, man. Say. And you know, he's, he's always asking me, how do you pronounce it? I'm hey, not going to tell you, bro. Is that, hey, babe, is that Babes Tunde? Is yeah. that Babes Tunde? Yeah. Yeah. Nah, you're crazy. Yeah. Come on, man. Cheeks? I've never called him Cheeks in my life. I call them Cheeks. Relax. Pause. 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 One cheek. Pause. Pause. Pause, bro. That's crazy. I asked him so many times. Let me know. Cheeks. That's crazy. That's a madness, bro. You know what? The thing is, too, I asked him so many times. Whenever I read a super chat, I'm like, let me know how to say your name. You never answered. Well, you think he's going to type it to you? You're still going to look the same. Yes, look at this guy. What's he going to do? Send a voice note. No, bro, spell it out, bro. GK. The guy spelled it out as well for him, bro. You know what I mean? No, he didn't He didn't do that. He got himself on the super chat. But yeah, he says, what makes a great pass and who is the greatest passer of the ball and why? What makes a great pass? What makes a great pass? I was going to say, Ken, I remember when we first doing started doing streams together, not even this year, but before that, me and you had this, this uh, excuse me, this discussion about De Bruyne versus Gundogan, for example. Like, who is the better passer? Because Gundogan is more of like high volume and stuff like you? that. We were talking about KDB versus Gundogan. Who is the better passer? Yeah, because you are, I was saying, like, when you talk about best passers, does someone like Gundogan come into effect? Because he doesn't have, like, these final balls like yeah, KDB, yeah. but, like, he's a pass master. But KDB is the guy who's got the <laughs> final ball unlocked. Yeah. Mm. What do you, I guess that's kind of this question. What do yeah. you consider more of, like, a better passer of the ball? 100%. Someone who has the killer final balls? Yeah. Or someone who's, like, just a dictator? Yeah. Yeah. But, um, I... <laughs> <laughs> this guy, I can't... These guys, I these, lie. these guys are tapped. I'm telling you. He is going crazy today. He is just leaving, man. He's finishing off with a Yo. bang. Pause. Hey. Still. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, listen. Bro, this sport is cooked. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> no, nah, it's listen. cooked, bro. I, I think, me personally, I prefer the final passer of the ball, the KDB type, the mm. Trent type. I... I appreciate the weight of passes. Those guys yeah. are like, oh, his weight of pass and mm. the technique. Like a Thiago, for example. Yeah, yeah. Or, or David Silva when he plays that blind alley pass. I love those. Mm. But for me, those guys who can put it on a sixpence, as they say, like when Trent is able to just pick it up right centre half mm. and just go, mm. all right, you see you there? And it's, it's the variation they can do it with as well. Because yeah, it's yeah. not just like this one type. Kevin De Bruyne and Trent for me are two, no matter what, side of the foot they hit mm -hmm. with it's landing on target yeah but i always i always ask that though like you know because it's always these discussions like and i always say it um for certain passes so for example like you're, how you're talking about like with kdb is kdb a better passer than javi not for me see that's the thing because javi's not got a rain but javi's got that crisp passing yeah, yeah. I mean, crisp passing the short it, it really game. depends i always used to say this with paul pogba i did never really thought pogba was a great short passer of the ball yeah, yeah i mean range like, of pass. his range was yeah fast. left foot right foot he can hit 60. it's like casemiro's <laughs> I, I, they, I prefer they, those they guys, can yeah. hit 60 the but, then, Alonso but you see them guys that can just zip it give it to me back pass it it's, it, yeah. it's, it's it's hard to kind of i would say personally what makes a good passer that is that it's the weight it's the weight of yeah. pass whether that's 
how you want it, how you like it in terms of yeah. um, final ball. If yeah. it's a spin, if it's a ping across the pitch, if it's grass cut, is it the yeah. weight of pass? Is it is is your weight of pass right? And for me, that is what makes a good passer. Simple as that. Because if you're not giving me the right weight of pass, you can mess up everything. If you're passing it to my back foot, yeah. you've messed up everything. 100%. If you're so, it's the weight. And the of thing with pass, guys like De Bruyne, balls. for example, mm -hmm. or even a Bruno now, their pass accuracy is not very high <coughs> because okay, they can get you those passes, but they also mess up a lot of them yeah. before they get to that point. So I think it all kind of comes into effect. This guy's asking though, who's the greatest? Pa who was the greatest? Who's passer? the greatest passer? There's a lot. Like I, I like a guy I like Fabregas because I thought he had a little bit of both to them. Yeah, he could play you those those killer balls yeah. pointed perfect uh, to perfection, but he could also finish a game with a hundred plus passes. But would you say Fabregas is a better passer than Paul Scholes? Not the yeah, it's tough, bro. That yeah, I'm saying. I would, I would say it's a good comparison. for me, but because Scholes, I feel like I'm gonna say I don't know about best passer ever, but Scholes I, could do. First phase, second phase, third phase. Now, he wasn't as good as Fabregas. Nowhere near as good as Fabregas. Third phase, that final ball, definitely not. But he could ping. Yeah. He could grass cut. He could um, he could um, yeah. outside the Can't foot. Lie. He can short pass. Yeah. It's hard. It is. I think... Because Xavi's not, Xavi's not got Skulls' I'm range. I'm not even going to... Xavi's not Xavi. got Skulls' range. I'm not even I was going to say Pirlo. Xavi. Pirlo. 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 Pirlo is up Pirlo's there, a good one. That but guy's a pass if master. we're talking just in terms of passing attribute. There's one guy I think, Gooty. Hey, I'm not trying to be a hipster or nothing. Uh, nah, I was around nah, in days, yeah. yeah. Gooty's yeah. when you talk okay, about weight pass, of yeah, pass, yeah, yeah, yeah. That brother knew what weight of pass was. I'm not joking with you. Whether it was side foot, outside of the foot, back heel, and when you talk about long range or short range, he was one of the ones I feel like was almost a little bit before his um, the great Spain. Like he would have fit into that team, mm. in my opinion. He was probably a little bit before that time, mm. but me weight of pass. I feel I think, I think Gucci, and and if you're, I know you don't him, really rate Gucci. Nah, nah, I feel I think, like Twitter's uh, done this recently. Yeah, where it's like over, no, 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 yeah, yeah, you, Twitter's, Twitter's overrated. definitely overrated him lately. But mm -hmm. I'm talking just, I'm not talking all round game, just a passing attribute. I would agree. Bro, weight of pass. And I watch his. Pa I'm like, yo, yeah. how did he see that? No, but me and Cam were talking the other day. Weight of pass, bro. Loudrup, bro. There is a 30 minute video on on YouTube. Of just Michael Laudrup School. through balls, basically. Yeah. School. Nothing we'll else. Say, no dribbling. We'll say, nothing. We'll say, uh, we'll say the guys that we've obviously yeah, yeah. majority. Yeah, Someone yeah. like Laudrup. It, I always say he's probably the most underrated legend in the game, bro. Like, that yeah. guy doesn't sweat. He is one of the best players ever, bro. But forget about that. I, I don't know, man. Cruz is, is up there. Cruz is up there, too. Cruz. Tony Cruz is up there, bro. Come on. Yeah. I don't think Cruz is better passing than Skulls. I think there's. I think Kroos I is like the modern know, day. You know, I always Kroos think is, Kroos is the is the modern yo, day schools, bro. For me, yo, in terms of like he has every yeah, kind of pass. Yeah. That's Skulls' yeah. favorite. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, they they're like it's like his prototype, bro. Ooh, yeah. yo, Put him I in the lab. I completely forgot that one. I think Kroos is let up me there. Take out, yeah. Let me take out. Let me take out. I'll put in Kroos. Yeah. Set pieces too, Kroos and yeah, yeah, yeah. Every is Messi in the conversation. It has to be. Weight of pass is stupid, bro. Messi's yeah. We put a Messi's final weight of passes. But hold on, best best weight of of pass and also the variation, the creativity is Ozil. Yeah, thank you. The guy's a genius. Yeah. Yo, there's. Now it's the really Ozil one, the Ozil one. If we're talking just yeah, passing yeah, yeah. terms, yeah, yeah. That Ozil though, it's almost it's, it's almost though more imaginativeness or vision. Like, yeah, yeah. No, it's a like creativity with Ozil. Like that's yeah. the thing. Like he'll he'll come up with these passes that mm. don't really that, make sense. That forces the striker to run. Yeah, into certain but I always say in terms of like who plays the the perfect pass, like. If you want to talk about XG, like the, the the chance that gives you the highest chance of scoring a yeah. goal, it's KDB, bro. The guy puts the ball right yeah, in front. Messy. I think it's I think it's the Bruyne, bro. Yeah, but I think that a lot of Bruyne's are like from that cross. Angle. No, but that that's the thing. He's mastered the highest probability mm, chance yeah. in the game, but bro. Don't forget Messi's little. You know, Messi's got that little chip to, to Alba, but yeah, yeah. Back. But the Br the Bruyne is putting it, bro. If he masters that pass, if the pass is correct, mm -hmm. his op his opponent is uh, he's just, to, just to be there, bro. Yeah. Yeah, but do you call that? Is that a cross or is it a? It's a, a, pass. a, it's a pass for me. Mm. Well, and and no, oh, we gonna have this discussion, aren't we? The, are you gonna uh, debate now? What's the difference between a cross and a pass? Because yeah. for me, I feel like a cross still falls under the bracket of a pass. I agree. Yo, the ball yeah. is going from point A to point B. Mm. How I do it don't matter. Mm. It's just that we have a different name for that type of mm. pass, but it's a long pass and a short pass, and a cross is just a different form of that. Mm. That's how I see it. A cross just has a spin. Yeah. That's a, that's the only difference between a long pass and a cross. Cross has a spin on yeah. it. Yeah, I'll and give Neymar his flowers too. By the way, Neymar is an amazing passer, and his yeah. vision is crazy too. Bro, have you not seen that little yeah, outside yeah, of I the pass? Yeah, right, man. Yeah, that's they, they, and they also have like mad flare. Yeah, bro, have you seen that outside of the foot like left-footed pass yeah. Neymar does? 
But see, I like, see, I like, these, I like dribbling. these football combos. I like combos like this where because yeah. there's so many players that you forget about yeah. and you, and it's like, right, they should be in these kind of conversations. Sure. The reason why I keep putting Skulls in this conversation, I'm not saying he's the greatest, but is because I've seen Skulls do all phases of it. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, I've I seen when the ball is coming to Skulls in the DM position mm. and he just flicks it outside of his foot <laughs> around the corner. That's true. Yeah. Like, those are the things that people don't think about. Yeah. Like, boom, I'm going to flick it. I'm going to get it back. Then I'm going to hit 60. I'm gonna hit you at 60, nanny. Make sure you got your touch right, mate. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. like that type of shit is incredible, bro. You know what I mean? But then Xavi does it in a different way. So, but I think Xavi's, the reason why Xavi's and these are different because so much of Xavi's for me, and this is why I always say, I think the best football attribute you can have is a perfect first touch, right? Yeah. Xavi's first touch was perfect. The yeah. People seem to associate first touches to, can you bring it down from the sky? Like mm. Dimitar Berbatov or Dennis yeah. Bergkamp, right? But look at every single one of Xavi's passes, of touches yeah. when he's doing <coughs> these triangles. Yeah. Bro, it's like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, Two, three it's, steps ahead. Yeah, yeah, so like, the passing is it's very short, but it's that touch is which is making it perfect. Yeah. Do you know what I'm coming from? Yeah. So it's so hard to kind of d define, but I just look at someone like Skulls who can do every single facet of it. You know what I mean? First phase, second I think he's time. definitely in this conversation yeah. for sure. It shouldn't be controversial at all. Mm -hmm. I'm trying Range, to short pass, fizzes. Me personally, I, I would ball? talk. Does he? Alonso, he has the, the, the long ball, but I can't lie, bro. I never was like a, okay, he's obviously great. But I can't like Busquets is up there. I was gonna say, but, Al but Alonzo for me does not belong in these conversations third? like huh? this. Busquets is he final third? Because I feel like he's first phase, no, second first phase. phase. No, he ain't got final third. No, no yeah, that's Busquets is first say. phase. Yeah, yeah, first yeah. phase demon. But yeah. yeah, but it's like that. But again, that Busquets. Busquets. But the thing is, is sometimes I'll, I'll be honest, someone like a Jorginho, I see him every once in a while chuck that. He has that one where like don't do that he, as often. Got yeah, he yeah, yeah, got yeah. I don't yeah, like yeah, that about yeah, yeah. it. No, but Busquets, bro, is like the, the, the through the lines. Between the line passes, yeah, 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 bro, yeah, he yeah. finds these crazy uh, windows. Uh, He's uh, looking uh, this uh, way, bro. Another thing, though, again, with what I'm saying, yeah. is Busquets is exactly the perfect example of what I'm saying. Busquets' first touch allows him to do whatever he wants to do yeah. with his passes. Have you seen when the ball comes to him? Boom. He'll yeah. do this, and then he knows. Where it's, like, it's all comes down to how good your first. I I think it's I've been thinking. I've been I've really yeah. been thinking it's about what yeah. your yeah. attribute is. I've been thinking because I remember we did that in stoppage yeah. time a long time ago, and I have decided that if you do not have an elite first touch, that's your best attribute. I think I, I, the I, I think I think it's football IQ, bro. I think yeah, no, honestly, about, like physical. No, physical. but I, I think everything starts from up here mm -hmm. because I, someone was asking me about Busquets versus Rodri the other day. I entertained it anyways, but yeah. I said, Busquets, he was nowhere near as athletic as Rodri, but bro, yeah. the fact that he was always six, seven steps ahead of everyone allowed him to like basically be in situations mm -hmm. where he didn't even have to get involved physically. Mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. But I think, bro, and even like of in course, terms of, I, even, in terms of I, even in terms of first touch, bro, like being able to just like know where everything is going. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I've got a different answer. I feel like pace. No. No. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Because I hear what you're saying in terms of first touch, you can play anywhere. I feel like with the brain, of course, you can do anything. Mm -hmm. But I feel like also with pace, it's almost one of those like, if you have no ability, you can bank you on can this. Like, yeah, do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, I if you're a mean. winger, you can guarantee beat your man with yeah. pace. If you're a fullback, you're going to be great at yeah, overlapping. Yeah, that's true. It, like, if you're a forward, you're going to beat the last man. Mm -hmm. You might not be a great finisher, but you'll get loads it's, of it's chances. It's like, like what Sean Ray Phillips is telling, and not to say Sean Ray doesn't have ability, but like he was saying, like, bro, at, at the very least, I could burn a man. That's 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even like someone like, let's say a centre back. If you've got burning piece to be yeah, the recovery guy, you're true. at least going to be. Yeah, a, I mean, so it, it might not bonus, be the best. I don't think it's the best. I think yeah. it's the one attribute, though, no matter what position. If you've got that, you can survive. Yeah. <laughs> you can survive. <laughs> Adama Traore. Yeah. Come on. No matter where yeah, he goes, he's yeah, going to find the club. Can you be elite? That's you, the question. You if you're making the, the modern, question, in the modern game, elite? if you're not an athlete, can you be elite? Yes. If you're not, you talk about it with Sancho. Sancho, great first touch. Prime example of what you got. Doesn't have the pace. Is he going to be elite? Yeah, it's a tough one. Yeah, you see what I'm saying, guys. Like, like guys like Ganso, remember, bro? He was mm, crazy, oh technical, my, crazy oh baller, but he couldn't move, bro. Yeah, ten yeah, years ago, he might have been crazy. Forget, yeah, yeah. That that's first a touch, real. So, uh, yo, it's it's maybe I'm talking about at the elite level, yeah, but yeah. it's what separates the average from the whatever. I get what and, you're and, saying. And, and, Definitely. You, yeah. Even like when we see, look, obviously, bro. Even we, when you turn up at like a, a kick around, this let's is what be I was honest. To say. When you see that man with the first side, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I want to be on his team. But this or, is what or, I was yeah, about to say. So yeah. for example, I was about to use Henderson as an example. <laughs> I always had to use this example because it's always the moment where I was like, yo, I ain't cut out for this sport, you know? Yeah. 
<laughs> Jody Morris. Jody Morris at 40 years old or whatever he was. Yeah. My coach um, brought his friends along, ex-pros, don't like to play against us a lot. Jody Morris took me to the cleaners without moving, bro. <laughs> hey, where's the content? Bro, hey, without moving. I want this. Just, just first touches. The ball will come in the sky, yeah? It'll just, boom, side foot right to the next guy. Yeah. Step back a little bit. The guy just bounces it to him back. Yeah. I'm out the game, bro. Yeah. I'm out the game. Yeah. So when you look at these players like Henderson and all these guys where people probably say not at the elite level, guarantee if you were to go and play against that guy, his first touch is what will make Chilling. it. It's not his yes. graft. You think you're going to go on the, um, go play Henderson and you're going to say, oh, he outgrafted me today. Yeah. No! He popped you through his touches, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Hey, it's, it's like the it's like in the NBA when they when people think they can take on NBA players. And was it the Brian Scalabrini? And he went to a local gym. Bro, he gave him buckets. I think he's got a career average of like two points, and people were like, bare people on Twitter were cooking him. He said, Yeah, meet me at the gym. He cooked everyone and didn't miss a single bucket. I was like, bro, the like the gap between yeah. obviously, as you say, but I think as you said, once you get to that top upper echelon, mm -hmm. the small things like technical, IQ, you ever, you I feel ever like seen do make the Denzel Valentine getting fucking cooked by those oh, college can't players. Lie. Like, you know, bro, you know yeah. Drew League or whatever. They said Denzel Valentine there. Was that, was that cooked, after he left bro. Chicago as well, wasn't it? Yeah. I think it might have been, bro. Oh, Denzel, man. Yo, have you ever seen the clip of like Denzel Valentine shooting the three at the end? He's like, oh, no. The yeah. <laughs> but the thing is that you look at these top players, Davis Silvers, Ozil's, all that stuff. Yeah. I know we they have all these other attributes, but just look at their first touch, bro. It dictates I, I look at all the, can, weirdly though. It dictates you say everything first touch, I look at all those players and I think about IQ. I don't think I, I, about I, their I first think, touch. I, the reason why, I think I think everyone, the reason why, everyone the reason why they can get that first touch off Thank is you. because they've yeah. already of scanned course, the pitch yeah, yeah. and read two, three moves ahead. While, 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 while yeah. Dodo, yeah. me and you are going, yeah, yeah. press him. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, no, I'm already four moves ahead. Yeah, do you know what? It's, I, it's just because I don't, I don't think of IQ yeah. as like physical. I get it. You can't measure it. It's not a measurable. Yeah, it's like, yeah, but your mentals is obviously important. You can't do nothing in life about your mentals. You know what I mean? But physically, that physical skill that perfect first touch, man, it dictates. And if an average player has a great first touch, he will make it very far. Yeah. He will make it very far. Because nine times out of 10, your first touch dictates your decision, your next decision. If your first touch is terrible, you're getting pressed, bro. That's why some of these men, as we say, can't play first phase. Because, bro, watch their first touch, bro. Yeah. Watch yeah. it. They don't know what's going on, fam. That's but true. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Anyway, that, we, 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 we could go on. Shout we could go on for days. Yeah, you can ask big up, man. Too, he said... This is more for you, Fuad. Go Could on. you put Zico in that category from Brazil? <laughs> hey, yo, Zico. My dad told me stories Go about Zico, do bro. your research. Yeah. Trust me. Let me tell you this about Zico. You laugh. I'm very unlucky. I know he's jokingly sent that. Yeah. <laughs> my, my daddy always tells me, right, that the 80s, it was Platini, Maradona, mm -hmm. and Zico. Those were like the big three. And he said Maradona, okay. He was, and Van Basten. Clear. Yeah, Van Basten. Yeah, it was late, like late it, 80s. Yeah, like, yeah okay, he's yeah, in that conversation yeah. too. But those were like the three number 10s, if you will. Mm -hmm. He said Platini, I never really liked because like he wasn't really that technical, but he's just like goal scoring killer. He said Zico, though. Mm -hmm. Bro, the guy w w was crazy. Three kicks were fun as well. Yeah. yeah, I mean, but uh, he was unlucky though because he, he came just after that great Pele. Brazil 1970 team. But they say so his he, team he broke in through. 80. He had the 80s and they didn't win. They say his 82 they... Brazil team is the best team to never win the World Cup. This is yeah. the thing. So that team, they didn't win. He never won a World Cup. And then after that, they won in 94. 94. First one. Dunga and that. Crazy. So then, and then they then they went to ninety eight final, and then they won in two thousand two. Yeah, yeah. So Crazy. he's just in that. <laughs> he's I in that. They used, you know, he's the you know, even though they won, but, but you know that Van Nist No, you know that Van Nistelrooy little Man United phase mm. where it's like you only won. You're prem, killing it, but one pro, yeah. No champs, no. Nah, yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> I think he's that Zico's like that for Brazil, but so he's nah. unlucky. And I guess Neymar can, is in that now kind of category. I guess for real, for real. But no, but they've not really been that good though. Um, Brazil, they weren't yeah. like they, they weren't like. Whereas Zico's 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 Brazil team, Zico's Brazil team were good. hard, yeah. bro. Yeah. Honestly, I think what is it? Socrates, they were talking about those guys those, mm -hmm. those days. Falcao, yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Platini, team. man, yeah. he was like the original it as well. Them times, goal scoring midfielder, bro. Mm -hmm. Platini was apparently yeah, something else. Like, one of the Platini. best. Yeah. Part, yeah. If we're talking yeah. about passing, if apparently his passing, yeah. like outrageous. Set free bro. kicks, set pieces. Yeah, but Platini is another one. They say his footballing IQ. That's why he ended up being like a politician basically after. Yeah, they say he knows how to finesse the on the pitch and off the pitch. He was a, he was a fraud. <laughs> yeah, that's how, he, that's how he cheated the system, bro. <laughs>
Yeah. I don't kill but yeah, you, all right, cool. Come, great, great super chat, man. That's probably yeah. one of the best super chats of the season, bro. Mm, no, nah, for real. On the last day. Um, get the likes up as well, people. Um, all up to 150. Let's try and get up to 250. Yeah, 900 people well. in the chat. Up to people. People as well, we'll appreciate you, lot, man. That's mm. you know, what I mean, Sunday afternoon. Mm-hmm. I know some of you are just coming back from church and all sorts, yeah. Of so, that's damn, appreciate that's you lot right. joining us. Um, but let's move on to some yeah. transfer chat. I was gonna say over the summer, obviously, there's some murmurs in North London going down mm. about what players they're bringing in. Obviously, after their title pursuit didn't quite mm-hmm. turn out, mm. this is looking like a big summer potentially for Arsenal. And personally, I was saying on um. Big Six even yesterday, I was like, I think this summer is actually one of the most important ones for Arteta and Edu. Like at the end of it, there's going to be huge lights mm. looking back on this, especially considering how January turned out, uh, getting Georgina Trossard, although initially it looked great and yeah, good players, but it didn't help yeah. the title push in the end. Now you've got the summer coming, you need certain positions replacing and the big signing they're talking about is Kai Havertz. I think it's rice to be fair. Uh, rice as well, but the negotiation apparently That's I don't know. Long. It's taken a bit back and forth. So I don't know what the progress is on that, but rice seems to be the issue. Talks today have come out of party potentially leaving mm-hmm. as well. I can confirm through my sources that that is com- that's true. That is true. That is true. So, hmm, that's interesting true. time to, you know, you cut ties. Cam oh. bomb. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> 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 is that the new one? <laughs> Cam Char- what's that? Sham's guy Char- <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, would you would you not make of um, one Kai Havertz potentially going there as well? Who said daddy? I think I said my dad. He. Oh. But they thought I said daddy. No. Oh, y'all are tapped, bro. Come on, man. Anyway, come on. I blame you guys to pause. be honest. Nah, 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 nah. Pause. Stop <laughs> <don't get laughs> Your mind's out the gutter. But, uh, would you would you not make it uh, kind of the business Arsenal are doing kind of early because they seem to be the most active from what I'm seeing yeah. anyway. You know what? I feel like Arsenal. Um, if they if the rumors of Partey going, well, I know the the, the the Arteta wants to get rid of him. So if you're looking at um, Partey, and then you're looking at Shaka has gone as well. You know what I mean? And you're gonna try and potentially bring in two new centre midfielders. One thing that Arsenal you that they're in the position where do they run a risk of potentially like changing the team a little bit too much? Mm. Or do or is that what they should do? Yeah, so yeah, now yeah. Arsenal last season, you would probably say depth cost them maybe potentially. Obviously, we know ins and outs of what yeah. some of the guys were doing on the pitch wasn't good enough. But let's just say if depth was something that was a big issue, which we think it is. So I feel like they are in a position where, as I said, they, they have to think about it. Like, do they bring in like six players, for example? Can that upset what happened last season? Do you know what I mean? Or do they do it because you're in Champions League now, the depth, etc. The targets that they're going after, though, we'll talk about Havertz in a sec. Declan Rice, Lavia, Casado, Musa Diaby, um, Cancelo. These are fucking brilliant signings. Mm-hmm. If they get these guys, these are brilliant signings. Yeah. So I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, then next season's going to be worse. You would expect that potentially next season can be better. It's just about Partey's experienced, Shaka's experience. Do you run that risk <laughs> of maybe losing some two key experienced players? And last season, what were we saying? Maybe they need more experience. Yeah, That's what the they're going. Is, All the players season, that they're going for are, are Last are young season, again. though, I felt like they had arguably the most consistent 11, if you like, where mm. you kind of knew pretty much what their team was going to be. And I feel like if you're going to bring in players, do not do what Spurs have historically done, where you bring oh, we need depth, so we'll sign bench-level players. You have to sign no, starters and ha- the current starters yes, go down to the, the bench. the current no, starters go down to the bench or the current starters are fighting for their lives to keep their spot and it's like a new signing's got to force his way in. And as you're saying, if they're going to bring those types of players, by all means, mm-hmm. it's going to be an incredible window, but they have to get those deals done, I feel like. You mm-hmm. can't be doing kind of haggling back and forth for Rice till the last day of the window. Because I remember party, let's not forget. Yeah, well, that's how that deal went day. down. It yeah, was like yeah, yeah. the final day when they knew, all right, we got to activate the release clause. Let's yeah, do it. Remember that. Don't do that mm-hmm. because the right AFC now Bell. you talk about <laughs> Caicedo, you talk head. about Lavia, there's sharks swimming, mm-hmm. bro. Yeah, they've like, got Caicedo lot. apparently wants Chelsea. Mm-hmm. Lavia, I don't know. He's linked with everyone. Everyone. Man United, Arsenal. He's linked with everyone. Declan Rice, linked to City, linked with Man United, linked with Arsenal. And that's why I keep saying, like, I feel like this window is so important for them. And the fact that they're making these moves early, good. But get them over the line now. Because if you don't, you could be looking back at it as like, oh, we got Rice. And then, okay, we're going to let Partey go. We're going to let Shaka go. Mm. 
all of a sudden, all of a sudden you now. upgrade or yeah. So you stay still. Me, me personally, anyways, I hear the experience talk, but I actually looked the last season, even the season before that. The players that are letting them down, are, in my opinion, are the ones that are supposed to be experienced. Like Jacques, uh, Partey, the tail end of the season, two years in a row now, has been a disgrace. Mm. So, in fact, in my opinion, it's actually the younger players that are really holding themselves accountable for Arsenal. Yeah. It was Martinelli towards the end. Saka, for most of the season, had a great year. So, I don't really buy into that too much. And then on the I subject still of, is there... It though, man. It's, it's of of still course, need, of course. But I, I think these guys are hungry. I think that's mm. important, too. And I, I will say, people who are kind of worrying about, is it too much change? I've been someone, Cam, you, you know this. I keep saying so many times this year... I feel like Arsenal hit a, a, a ceiling with this team. And I actually think they might have done well to, to supersede that. But this team has a very clear ceiling. And I don't think they'll be able to replicate with the exact same squad that they had. 90-plus yeah. point. I mean, they didn't even get to that. But I don't think they'd be able to do another 90-plus point charge. And you've got all the great teams throughout history. They continue adding quality on top of what's already a good mm -hmm. team. So if Arsenal could just uh, thought that they were going to have the same team, plus Rice, plus Caicedo, and they're going to go do that again, yeah. it's not going to happen, bro. You're going to have to make some, some big changes to the 11. And I think if you get in these big players that they're rumored to get, yeah, I can see Arsenal challenging again. But sure. it's not going to happen if you just stay still just because the team last year did you well. Yeah, so is 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 Kai Havertz that guy? That's the question. Is this the, so? So obviously the big one, obviously sixty potentially sixty two million pounds for <laughs> Kai Havertz. One, I don't know how Chelsea keep doing this, right? They're about to great make, sellers. They're about to great make sellers. Like a hundred and they could potentially make a hundred and sixty million off of cover mount and thingy, which is incredible Crazy, business. Yeah. But I don't know how they're doing that. Havertz but, is basically making their money back. That's the With, thing. So would you say? What do you think about the Kai Havertz signing? Because, you know, I feel like every fan base, every fan base have their their type of fan, right? Every fan base. And the Arsenal fan base, they, they're all tacticals, right? All Arsenal fans, they're tacticals. Nerd right? ball! Yeah. <laughs> Arsenal fans, they, 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 they break things down in a crazy way, right? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of Arsenal fans are thinking that potentially that he's going to be in that LCM role um, that Shaka was operating hmm. in. Honestly, I cannot see that. I, I, I cannot see that. For me, I think Havertz is going to come in and be in a rotation kind of situation with Jesus. I think we might even see Jesus feature off the left a couple more times yeah. next season. Not on the right, because I just don't think he's a right winger, but maybe a couple it's more times off the left. I think maybe maybe so. Maybe he's going to be, be go across the front three a lot of times, but I yeah. think it's going to be a rotation. As we said, Arsenal in the Champions League. Now... Havertz has had a poor time in England, if we just keep it 100. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, he scored 19 goals in 91 appearances. He hasn't, he's only broke 10 goals once. You know what I'm trying to say? And he hasn't scored 10 goals, I don't believe, in the Premier League ever. Yeah. Havertz? Yeah, Havertz. He has. Check, I think he got eight, know. seven, eight, or something like that. So he scored 19 goals in his time in the Premier League, I believe, in 91 uh, fixtures. He's never broken 10 goals. He's got 10. I think he broke it once, that's what I said. Yeah, seven, eight, and four. There we go, seven, eight, and four. And then you think if that is their forward signing after a lot of the complaints last season was that Jesus doesn't finish his dinner, Jesus doesn't score enough goals. On XG, Havertz is the second worst finisher in the Premier League. Bro, it's absolutely So crazy. that is the one that I'm super kind of confused about how it's going to work. Look, I get it. In a way, he's not like for like with Jesus. But is he one of them guys you bring in, other people play better, the, in, the, the forwards I just, invert and they do their thing. But again, I just, sorry, just, again, I just think bringing in a Havertz already with a Jesus yeah. is you're then demanding Martinelli and Saka to, to break 20 again. And you know, just, be, our, be our Salah and Mane, basically. Yeah. And, and I feel like... I, I don't know. I just look at Havertz. I'm like, you don't have a standout position and you don't have a standout attribute. 62 million, I'm looking at that as like, that's a fair chunk of Arsenal's summer budget, if I'm not mistaken. You're here haggling with Rice. Mm. I don't know what solution or what problem Kai Havertz fixes for Arsenal right now. Do they need goals from midfield? I don't think so. No. Do they need extra bodies up front? They've got Enketi on 100k, who, when he stepped in, he actually did a decent job. Mm. So if it's a thing where you're going to have then Kai Havertz, Jesus, and Enketia as your free strikers to chase City down, mm. that ain't going to keep up with Haaland alone, yeah. them mm. free. So for me, I'm like, I don't know where this has come from. And it's the same old story I feel like now of Arsenal just taking Chelsea's sloppy seconds and mm -hmm. 
now we're trying to repackage it as like, no, 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 he's still got upside. I think Kai Havertz still has upside. I, I still think there's a player in there potentially. I've, but I big, don't I've think, always backed Havertz. Yeah, I, I don't think he has, one, a team that's willing to cater a system to him. Yeah, I always say And that. I don't think he, right now, has that mentality where he can take that's over. That's always the bottom what, we, we talk about cater to him. And I've seen quotes about Havertz. And Chelsea, don't get it twisted, have yeah. tried a lot over They've the They've tried everything. And But you ask Havertz, I've seen a quote. He said, I can play in the middle, I can play <sighs> left, I can play right. Them type of, there's too many of them type of players in today's game, bro. Yeah. What position do you play, bro? Answer the question. They Around can't Torres. answer too. They just had, um, we just saw Jao Felix, for example, yeah. at, at Charles. What position do you I play? Well, I keep saying, these day. are the forwards, bro. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, what position do you guys play, bro? Do you know what I mean? So that's the problem. So when we say, like, a team cater to him, what is it to cater to? Because post lockdown, um, when Havertz was going crazy for Leverkusen, I think he scored 16 goals, mm -hmm. he was playing as the number nine. Yeah. But then if you look at um, his stats of what, what, what position that he's played the most, I believe he played lows off the right wing. Um, he played a lot in the 10. He played a lot in the nine. So again, he's somebody that has just played all, even in his early days, he was coming off the bench or, um, or playing minutes in centre midfield. So again, he's another one where it's like, we talk about cater to him, but where where do you, what is your position to cater to? Yeah. So now that's down to Arteta to basically be like, listen, in my team, you are this. You know what I mean? You're not this, you're not that, you're, not, you're this. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this is how it's going to work for you. And if they can do that, you've got a talented player in Kai Havertz. I was going to say, look, I don't know where Kai Havertz fits into this team at all. And I, I have people telling me, oh, you're not a coach. But look, I knew where Casemiro was going to play. And I'm yeah. not a coach, so I don't, I don't really agree with that logic. However, I, I'm like you guys. I've always been a fan of Kai Havertz's talent. I think you talk about football and IQ. I think he's an intelligent player. Mm -hmm. Some of the runs that he makes, some of the link up that he, he... My biggest issue with Kai Havertz has always been his demeanor. He is just way too, it seems, almost unbothered at times. I never like getting on the players like that because I don't know them. Mm -hmm. But with him, it's like, it's so obvious, bro. Yeah. That, like, he's just too lethargic. Like, I always used to compare him to Berbatov, but it's even worse than that. Mm. But I don't think you can, okay, you probably can because if you look at the output, like, those numbers are really bad. But I think there is clearly talent in that player. Now, this is where it gets crazy for me because I don't understand where these Van Persie claims come from. Mm. Honestly, again, I like the player and I think that under Arteta, again, as, as much as I don't know where he's going to play, yeah. I think a good talent and a good guy with talent ID, I think they'll work well together. But Van Persie, bro, I don't see the similarities. Do, do, I think, do you I think there's a possibility then what, like, Havertz moves to Arsenal and then we see a significant improvement on him. Or he fulfills that potential because he's now got a coach, that, as you say. I think I think you could. Look, I don't know about his potential because people were talking. I had Rudy Voller. Rudy Voller was talking about he's Mesut Ozil times Balak. But I think there's a good player there. And I think Where's under Arteta. Rudy to spit in this guy's face, bro. <laughs> No, you mean Rykard to Rykard. Rykard, sorry, yeah. No, but I, 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 I think, I think under you, Arteta... <laughs> Actually, he used to picture on my Twitter all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I think under I think under Arteta, yeah, he can definitely reach that level. Yeah. But mm. again, I, but what it's almost like blind faith because I don't I, know where in this team he fits. Bro. That's my issue. Yeah. Is I feel like a lot of Arsenal fans are saying like I see some people in the comments as well saying like oh they doubted Odegaard and I'm like you lot are doing this blind faith thing. Yeah, you didn't. I remember the Madison. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I know you're gonna remind us. That's like, <laughs> but I just feel like there's valid reason to doubt this one in my eyes. I don't. It doesn't make sense. I have to, to see it to believe it. Honestly. Yeah, I, I feel it's like a bit too much blind faith, and I get. Oh, if Arteta wants him, yeah. go with it type of thing. Yeah. But sometimes you can question your manager yeah, and say, hey, what's going on here? And by the way, that's why I don't yeah, like, sorry, I'm sorry, but that's why I don't like about it because um, yes, you can have a manager that does whatever, you know, that does has done well or whatever, but mm -hmm. you should never, as a fan, not try and think about things in your own in your own way. In that's the only the thing. Point. Now, I'm not saying, there could be some people that rate Havertz. That I think everyone here on this ch panel actually think Havertz is a good player. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he has something about him. But it's the thing, like, if Manchester United were linked with Havertz, it will be Ten Hag's smelly ID. Smelly. Mount is linked to United, and it's like, oh, what? Yeah, yeah Mount what? is linked to Man United, and it's like, oh, this smelly. Mount HR? Has, bro, <laughs> Mount has been better than Havertz every single season yeah. that they've been Thanks. together. Thanks. But Thanks. Mount to United is Ten Hag's ID stinks. Havertz to Arsenal's, it's like, hold on, get, hold on, wait a minute. Yeah. There might be in this pit. Do you get I'm coming from? So yeah. I think just just be honest with yourself. If you think that, do I think he's someone that moves the needle for Arsenal? No, I don't. I don't think he is. Yeah. Do I think he's someone that can go into Arsenal, be better than what he was at Chelsea and be a useful member of that Chelsea te Tough. Arsenal team? Yes, I do. But do I think that Kai Havertz is now, I think Jesus is better than him. So it's like- I fully agree. You know what I mean? So fully it's agree. like, is he an upgrade? 
No. I, don't, I don't know when both are at like. All right, so when both are at their best, you are starting him number nine over Jesus. I have to say, but doing I think that, I think Havertz no. is potentially higher I, than I Jesus. I have more faith in. Yeah, Jesus. I get what you're saying, potential, I, but like next season, I have more faith in Jesus having like a breakthrough season and maybe hitting eight. Nah, I think we know what Jesus is. To be honest with you, I, I don't. I, I, I think Havertz I feel is like almost the like that. Really stunted him. Have, Dude. Jesus, like I feel nah. like I think Jesus we was having a great season. Yeah, I feel like Jesus, there's still potential for him to break into a goal scorer, if that makes sense. I feel like he's got all the tools there. Havertz, I don't know. I feel like it's blind faith and more, yo, know, we've seen glimpses and shades here, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'm more so of Jesus. I almost feel like I know what he is at this point. He is a great player. He's having mm. a great season, but he's always going to be a guy that in front of goal, is gonna. He, he, I don't think he has it in him. He just needs to it. take one. I think it's mentality. I think it's me, for yeah. him. It's, that's all it killer. is for Jesus. But what's he, what's Havertz in front of? God? So the, but that's my point. At least though, I, I feel like I feel like with Jesus, I know what he is. Havertz, it's almost like I don't know what he is. So uh, the, the, the confusion the devil, around it is the devil you know than the devil you don't. Maybe. That's what I'm saying. He's still saying the same. That's what we say about Felix and these type of players. That's what I'm saying. But with that oh, Van Persie I, thing, with the Van Persie thing, I don't see the similarities in terms of them two. Except from they're both kind of tall, brown hair. And left footed. That's what yeah. I really see between them, right? But I saw one finish. Thing, someone one, linked me. It actually, you know what? I, I held my hands up. I was like, fair enough. I saw some Ben person. What, 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 what I would say is that I get what people people are trying to basically say that. Well, when I was seeing people go into the depth of that, that discussion, is that people were saying that Van Persie in the beginning he struggled at Arsenal, etc. Which is injuries, people though. need to remember, right? Like I remember because I saw it. Yeah, a lot of people didn't see it. I remember because I saw it. Nah, it's the bro, me, me the old heads. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, we 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 were there and we saw it. Yeah, I fully remember when Van Persie was that one Arsenal player who just did not seem to understand what Wenger won wanted. I remember that. Oh, always shooting. Always doing the wrong shooting thing sometimes. Like, I remember. So he was always shooting. Like, do you know who he reminded me of? Yeah, not in the way they played. But do you guys remember when Daniel Sturridge was at Chelsea? Yeah. On the yeah. right wing. Good comparison. They yeah. were Stepo's never shot. Yeah, yeah. And Chelsea players <laughs> were looking at him like, brother, what are you doing, bro? Yeah, I mean, also, like that, that was Van guy, Persie. Pal. People forget Van Persie as a young guy was one very fiery, very hot headed guy. He was the one that in that Arsenal team, he was not adapting to what Arsenal then going to do. Arsenal used to be the best footballing team in this country. And Van Persie, when it used to get to Van Persie, He'll hold the ball too long. He'll make it. it will, then he'll shoot his body. He hadn't really adapted to his yeah. body. So I get that but side me, of things. But, but I always, think, one sec, I yeah. always think Van Persie was always still. Don't let Van Persie get Thank on that you. left foot. Havertz, I don't think people are saying mm. that, right? Van Persie had that it, it, poor, it, I, I was about to say something crazy. <laughs> he had a mad left foot. You know what nah, I mean? He, he had, yeah, you could he had a game. mad left foot regardless. And he had flashes of crazy brilliance. Yeah. But this I think is Havertz is... Cam, the, the, the discussion though, that, that it all started, I was the one who tweeted it. It was never about... Do there are there scenarios similar? It's as players are they similar? Yeah, that's that's my whole thing. You could never ever question Van Persie for his technical uh, security, bro. Mm -hmm. Even at Feyenoord, this guy was still chopping in. Yeah, he, he was technically very good, and like you said, he was an incredible ball striker. Now there's situations in terms of obviously Van Persie took a long time. There was the injuries too as well too. He was made out of glass, but you could never doubt his talent. For me, it was always his mentality and his application. With Kai Havertz. I'm doubting his mentality, bro. Mm. Like, like you said, Van Persie was a fiery guy. Mm -hmm. Havertz, bro, it almost seems like he can't be bothered at times. And mm -hmm. that's the biggest thing that I want to see changed going forward under Arteta, who's also a fiery guy himself. We got to remember, yeah, this is a 60 million pound signing. Yeah. So yeah. just being better than what he did at Chelsea ain't going to cut it. You know what I mean? The this expectations redemption. He, the expectations that he had at Chelsea is going to be transferred to the to thing. It's not going to be like, hey, oh, no, no, calm down, man, because he was a flop at Chelsea. Yeah. No, this is a 60 million pound signing. So adapt into the Premier League, adapt into new country. Exactly. Like, He's going to have the same expectations. So just being better than the four goals you scored yeah. last season. No, that's not what Arsenal need. You need to be the guy. You need yeah. to be a top boy. So... It's going to be interesting, um, but let's see. Who do you see any similarities, though, but in their games? Between, between Van, Van Persie, Persie and Havertz? I, I don't really see much sim similarities no. yeah. in their game. At all. I don't see it, no. That was my whole I thing. I think it's yeah. just the lefty. He's lefty, right. tall. Even brunette. the way, like, yeah. Van per I, I, I think guys are a bit attractive. Little spike, yeah. yeah. You remember Van Persie, too? Like, the way he almost, it, like, contorted his body sometime. Like, that goal against Liverpool where he chests it down in one move, mm -hmm. he gets down to his right. I look at Havertz and he's very like uncomfortable in yeah. his body and in a way that Van Persie, in my opinion, wasn't, bro. <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought Van Persie was amazing with like the hand technique. Like, yeah. 
just his body shape was crazy yeah, when, he would, yeah. when he would line up straight. Pause, but yeah. 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 We'll <laughs> move on to Chelsea. We'll move on to Chelsea. <laughs> like, football was that 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 shape when striking the words ball. matter yeah. words matter nah, hey listen <laughs> listen on. i was gonna say um briefly chelsea casado that's probably a foregone conclusion as well. i was gonna say the other big one actually let me not even stunt killian mbappe dropped the letter midweek talking mm -hmm. about hey man i ain't signing that new deal 2024 mm -hmm. It's your move, again, man. We're getting bored. Of your it. move. Bored. I'm bored. I'm getting bored. Of On it. a scale of, of one to ten, nine point nine. Yeah. I'm bored. <laughs> is, it, is it the saga of the summer? No, it's not, man. Damn. It's not the saga of the summer. It's ha we've seen it last season. Yeah. I feel like every single season that Mbappe has been at PSG, there's been a little rumor about him leaving the club, man. Like, mm. or uh, he's fell out of Neymar, or it's like, bruh, you know, what I'm trying to say. So. He's going to stay. The limelight. Yeah, it's silly, man. Him and PSG have this crazy relationship. He's going to stay, I think. You know what I mean? i just seen the, everyone talking about Luis yeah, Enrique. I, say I just, I'm not moved. I'm not moved by that appointment. But um, Luis Enrique to PSG. So I think he's just going to stay put. He's going to try to win the champs. And then he'll dip next season for free. That's how I Do see you, it. I mean, there's talks of you lot if the takeover happens. Because mm. maybe you lot want to update us a little bit on that as well. <laughs> Side yeah, note. We don't know nothing, bro. Hey, listen. I just talk ball, bro. ITK cams all of a sudden. You know what I'm saying? NDA's. NDA's. But now, so if that, I mean, if that takeover does actually go through, though, do you think there's a potential you lot say, you know what, Mark? We have to be inside. We have to be. Marky signing mm -hmm. Kylian Mbappe. They're talking 150. They'll, t mm. they'll accept this summer. We don't even got 150 ourselves, bro. Mm. Hey, would Jassim? No, I don't Jassim, think even though if we even if we get Sheikh Jassim tomorrow, we wouldn't be able to like, it wouldn't yeah. come into effect. But the way the finances work, mm. yeah, it's weird that if you, it's, oh, it's weird. No, no, it's weird. I'm getting his fucking turn. No, 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 Where's my phone, For real. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's weird because Man United's budget right now is about 120 million or whatever. Yeah. yeah. But if Manchester United makes sales of like McTominay, Maguire, for example, that some i don't know how i saw some thread that makes our transfer budget 300 million so it's because of contract mm. lengths and all this weird stuff a so to go i don't know how it works is the one but at, yeah. i don't see that happening uh, he wants real madrid bro that's his dream move in my opinion now they might just hey. try and be like you get out the door and we're gonna send you over to united but nah mbappe and united harlan and city mm. Bond the classical, no, me. This is what we got in Manchester. This is what we want. Oh, hey, this is what we want. This like, is what we want. In the Premier League, both of you come tear it up two, three years. That's what we want. Mm -hmm. we, don't, we ain't asking for five. And this is what just we want. Two, just give me a two year, sign a two year deal. Like you did the PSG. Harlan's got what, two years left on his as well? Mm -hmm. You can both bounce at the same time, go classical. <laughs> This don't let us just wait, come. I, I don't think it's gonna happen. I am, I have zero faith that I know it Arsenal fans are in the comments but, probably saying, but, "Hey, hey, hey we're involved as well." But, but no, Calma. No, 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 no. Calma. Ha Haaland <laughs> does not want to see Mbappe. That's all I'll say on that, bro. Haaland mm. does not want to see the best player in the world. Hey, that's all I'll say. Look, he's gonna go to Madrid. You say yeah. hold the Ballon d'Or warm Mbappe, for if, if, hold if, the Ballon d'Or warm for a year. That's a question. Let me ask you. Go ahead. If Mbappe comes Premier League, does he break Haaland's record in the debut season? Maybe not. No. Because he doesn't have Pep and because Haaland... Mm. No. 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 But, no, but Haaland don't want to see him, huh? Well, goals are everything now. I'm just saying. Nah, listen. Everybody... <laughs> the, 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 the flag has been... He thought he did something, bro. <laughs> the flag has been bad. Can you come and snatch it? If you ain't going to come outdo me, don't don't talk about you. Well, I'll do you in goals. He'll, he'll outdo you in I'm footballing sure. ability, bro. The standard has been set. Everything, everybody's gonna come bro. to the league. He's more important than goals, bro. Oh, my Mbappe my eye test. test. Now Mbappe is eye hey, Let's step over his mm. sometimes. Bro. Interesting. Mbappe gets the link to United. All of a sudden, he's a, the tacticals love him. I, I love Mbappe. I'm watching. I, I love Mbappe. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Like Mbappe. That's right. Mm. Listen, I test. <laughs> everybody's I'm a superstar. Hey, I'm starving. Bro. I'm watching. We ain't got no Messi's and Xavi's no more, bro. Hey, Road bro. runners are my hey. eye test. Step <laughs> over and flip flop. You ain't see that yesterday, now? Bro, we were kings, man. Right. Uh, everybody's a superstar until the superstar is in the room. Nah, for mm. real. You know I mean, so if Mbappe came to the Premier League, we know what it, we know what it will be. You know what I mean? <laughs> Destruction. Yeah. But hey, listen, I don't see it. I don't see it. I see no, that. The thing. There's obviously um, Messi went to the MLS, scored a good goal the other day. Everyone's talking yeah, about it's it? too good to be in the MLS. 
And he just had a recent press conference and he was, well, interview. And he said, look, I've completed football. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's, I nothing not, left. there's nothing left for me to do. So I, I fully agree, bro. Everyone's talking about, ah, oh, he's not washed enough to be in the MLS. Bro, let him go go out there, do his thing, man. He's earned it. He's had a great career. Mm -hmm. He's done everything that's needed to be done. Why can't he just go and tear that up? And it's, it's better for the MLS anyway to at least have a Messi who is going to do what he can do like Messi can go there and rewrite history out there if he really wanted 100%. to. Hundred percent. Yeah, I mean they took Lampard when he he's washed, Gerard when he's yeah. washed, Perla when he's washed. Let's actually get someone who's going to do bits properly. In I'll be rude with you. They weren't needle movers. They were great players. Mm -hmm. They were not needle movers like a Beckham was. Mm -hmm. This is almost like the Beckham type. Yeah, where it could change the face of the league. It yeah. will. You gain a whole new raft. Where's the audience? World Cup in 2026? Is Where's US? Copa America in 2025? Mm, so, you see or and yeah, yeah, yeah. if I'm not mistaken like I think there's like even Apple's involved in this deal as well because they own shares in the MLS so they were like yo we'll subsidize some of his money get mm -hmm. him down it this is basically his retirement into the sunset is how yeah. I've seen it I said the minute he said I'm not choosing the Saudi league money and potential competition against mm -hmm. legends if you like he said forget the masters thing I'm gonna do my own thing over but there yo, yeah. the amount of money he's poised to make though I mean he has this whole thing he's gonna lot oh yeah oh yeah and he, he's he, gonna get the he's, same thing as Beckham where at the end of his, his contract he can buy he has the odd to buy no he can actually buy out a, a, an MLS club for I think super cheap basically mm. wow. and Beckham he bought Inter Miami I can't remember how much Messi man. don't know ball like that man he doesn't, but his finance team Messi does. He don't know business. I, I don't business. know. Of course not, bro. <laughs> I don't think he has people to do that shit for. You don't. You don't know business. That he ain't Beckham, man. Ain't Beckham. <laughs> Beckham, <laughs> Beckham apparently is cranking up the numbers. Why are you such a hey, bro? Beckham is apparently cracking up the numbers, bro. This guy is Me crazy. Messi man. don't know business like that. Of course uh, not, bro. You don't know. No, business. No, but I'll be real with you. That is not you. Uh, you hit a point though there. Uh, that's actually where I'm so curious to see Messi's growth commercially, yeah? Because now, bro, you're in an English-speaking country. Yeah. You can try running Miami with the Spanish stuff. Eh? It can work. Mm. Yeah. But you're going to have to speak some English when you go on. He must, bro. You <laughs> must, I need to bro. hear Messi interviews. Bro. I've never heard him speak English. I no. don't even know. I still, bro, there was a video. Give me that whoa, whoa. was there the was first time I heard him speak. <laughs> there was a video on TikTok, right, where it's like, Throughout his career, he's doing advertisements with Barca and PSG, and everyone tries speaking in Chinese for the Chinese one, uh, English for the... He always says it in Spanish, bro. He always. He ain't changing, bro. So and I'm, this is who man want, this is now, man want doing business. That, but this is what Come I'm saying. Man. Now, yo, the, he's gonna be, yeah, hey, yo, translators the, don't hey, exist anymore. He's, <laughs> gonna be like, he's gonna be like Michael Jordan, man. Charlotte Hornets have never won a playoff bro. series, bro. That's gonna be Messi's franchise, oh. bro. They ain't never, they ain't never won a I playoff series, bro. Huh? Didn't, didn't Phil Neville leave them near the bottom? Yeah, Inter Miami are the worst team in the league. It's gonna be this, tough. This and Messi's gotta bring his mates, man. Shout out Busquets, bring his Suarez. Yeah, yeah. What's Iniesta Run it back. doing? Still getting Japanese money? Now he just yeah. left. Now he just left. What's he come, doing? Come, roll through, bro. Yeah. What's, yeah, what, yeah. Is Iniesta available? Yeah. 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 Mm. Uh, it's funny how Al Alba, Busquets, funny how Suarez. Last five Iniesta. years mean nothing to Iniesta's legacy, innit? We we completed what? the game. It's funny how Japan. Japan. completed the game, bro. What do you mean? Man's been doing five years in Japan. I know, I know. Completed five years. Leave him, man. Leave him, man. You know how the dad left for? The dad left. The dad left as the World Cup's best player. This brother's been five years nah. in, in, in didn't, Japan. Didn't he win the didn't he win the trouble when he left? Who? Iniesta. That was Xavi. Last... Xavi nah, won. That, that was Xavi. That was Xavi. Iniesta, Iniesta, got, Iniesta got two trebles, on, a World Cup, two Euros. What the hell yeah, is you he? Can't, you can't chat. Bro, bro, you yeah. can't chat to Five yeah. years in Japan. Back. And hey. now you're a free agent. Nah, land Yo, land how did he do in Japan? Anyone know? This is <laughs> yo, yo, hey, did he? Hey, what's wrong with you? I actually think he won something. You're gonna you're gonna regret. Oh, I don't think he did. Nah, Vissel Kobe. Show me. I saw I don't him. Think, I, don't I saw him lifting something. Probably the the. What's who's, 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 who's um? What's you that? Guys, you know, you you remember Dragon Ball Z? Yeah? Who's that guy? Um, um, He's Tien's Tien's brother. Brother. You know that little that little guy that flies Krillin. around with Tien. Krillin. Nah, nah, nah. His name is that. Now some of you in the comments, you know that's Iniesta, bro. That's what he did. Yeah, he got Japan. the he got the Emperor's Cup in 2019. Emperor's Emperor Cup. <laughs> That sounds like something from Naruto, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the Emperor's Cup. Who's fighting in that competition, bro? Is that the, is that the world tournament, bro? I'm confused. Yoko, Yokohama. Bro, <laughs> I'm going to see you pick on and them man there, bro. Hey, don't kill me. <laughs> Hey, yo. Oh no! You're insane. Don't kill me. Man said the Emperor's <laughs> Cup, bro. You see the players they were bringing over there too. I think Vio was on his team at one point. Boyan was on his team at one point. Who? Iniesta. So he had a Japanese super team. <laughs> Hmm. Hey, bro, you see, the, you see what Jap Japan did in the World Cup? He was trying to monopolize hey. the Japanese league. That's, that's the Iniesta effect. Yeah, bro. Oh, hey, yeah, thank yeah, yeah. you. <laughs> Where's Modric's effect? <laughs> Should we yeah, that's it. Chiatsu, Chiatsu. Relax, Chiatsu. Relax. Someone has to come. <laughs> come on, man. Ain't no need for those strings like that.
<laughs> oh man. Um, any other a, any other transfer? Miami, no. Hey yo, no nah, people throw in uh, throw in throw um, some questions. Um, while we give out some. Oh yeah, you know, check on the of awards as well. Yes, actually. yes, yeah, yes. Because I saw yesterday, I sent out. Said, yo, send in some awards. We'll try and hand out some awards at the end of the season. Mm. We should actually next year do like some proper real awards. Yeah, yeah. Send yeah. them out to people as well. Mm. I don't know. Someone might post it. Mm. Be the first baller. Post mm. stopping time award. Mm. You know, you works. know, hey, we be works. outside, man. Yeah. Ballers be coming up to us saying, hey, Premier League you? ballers. <laughs> I ain't going to say too I much. I know you. Yeah, what are you man saying? <laughs> Soho House hey. League Cups, man. Mm. No Soon. words. Hey. Um, right, first award actually. Should we do the cliche one? I mean, Harlan's young player. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do the alternative straight away, man. Fuck it. Um, I want to start with this one. Biggest villain of the season. Biggest villain of the season? In Across all sports? Across. Or, or, or just football? Oh, all nah, sports football. is Dylan Brooks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was going to say. Yeah, you know. Fo- all right, Let's across football. football. The biggest villain. The biggest shall villain. I, shall I give my nomination for the biggest villain yeah, attempt? Yeah, go on. Mm. Killian Mbappe in the World Cup final. Mm, tried what upsetting. he tried to do on that day, I said, "You are a football villain from this day forward." Mm-hmm. Messi shining moment, like the whole world was rolling out the red carpet, yeah. rose petals out for Messi. The parade is happening, and he said, "Hold on, let me. Let, I got something for you, little man. One, two, three, Boom. and he, bro, we. I actually thought he was going to complete it." And I do it, and I and I would. Kolo Mwani, I would have loved it. Oh, hey, oh, thank you. The, the hype that that's why I, you don't ever see me talk about him. I, I'll Kolo never forget Mwani. that. I'll never forget that. Uh, but for me, that that would your be your sacrifice will, will forever be remembered. Thank you very much, right. Kolo Mwani. The villain, <laughs> the villain. That for me is the villain. Let us know in the comments as well. I'll try to read some of them out as well. Low key, I'm, I'm sure okay. you guys are gonna disagree. It might be Pep, bro. I'll, nah. I'll be real. It might be Pep, bro. After that whole thing where he's like, I am not getting up from this seat. Mm. And then the That was back, a villain. He's like, I, I'm playing like... four center backs. <laughs> We're going long to Haaland. <laughs> Trouble. <laughs> hey, that, was, um, that was hard. Nah, Pep got all his adulation, man. Hey. Um, <sighs> he, he's... Oh. Great one sent in. I think you'll probably agree with this one as well. Mario27 says, Todd... Bowley. Yeah. <laughs> is he dud or, or villain? No, that I can't for the, lie. No, no. For he the, was annoying everyone in January, bro. Let's keep bro? it. Bro? Espe- bro, everyone he broke was like, the what's he more like a flea in my He broke right the here. football yeah, like, market. Villain. He demoralized Chelsea fans. Yeah. He sacked their favorite manager. He like, took Mudrick of Arsenal. Took Mudrick of Arsenal. Don't bro, everyone off. that guy has to be villain of the season in mm-hmm. my eyes. And then nah, you've taken yeah. Chelsea to 12th place. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I agree. I think Todd Bowley. I I uh, yo, I'm I'm with that Todd Bowley shout. I'm with that one as well. I think Mbappe, it was a good attempt, but yeah, you didn't yeah. finish the job. Yeah. I think Todd Bowley. Villains don't, don't ever win. So mm. I, I would still say you had a good attempt at a villain. Mm. Yeah. Well, I like didn't win. that. What? The villains never really win though. Yeah. So that's yeah. really truly a villain's That's kind of true. Yeah, villains don't really win, do they? Nah. What do you mm. think? Nah, I agree with Todd yep. Bowley. Todd I Bowley? like that one. I like that top body. Yeah. Shout. That's yeah. a good shout. 100%. Let me see if there's any others. Um, <laughs> Miles Johnson says, Colo Mwani. Um, He's a hero, bro. Big up Colo hey, Mwani. <laughs> your contrib- your oh, contributions mate. will not be forgotten. That was, uh, that was peak. Let's, so. let's, let's do the polar opposite of that, actually. Who is the hero? Or the most heroic moment, if you like. Who is the hero? Of the the most heroic moment for me is the Mbappe. <laughs> Is that Mbappe moment? That that volley. That is the most heroic moment of the season, no doubt, bro. Like Which what? One? The volley in the World Cup final to equalize. Nah. Yeah, but that it didn't by leave far I know what you're the saying. most heroic moment of the season. But you can't get a villain and hero. Yeah, but that is the <laughs> most heroic. <laughs> Heroes Ronaldo, and villains. Ronaldo villain of the season. Cristiano, man, maybe for Man United. Mm, no, I, I think lie, who else did he just do? No. World Cup, the bro. World Cup, the way he let himself down to the point where you were the face of the team and you're dropped now. Gonzalo Ramos getting hat tricks on your head, mm. you almost rubbed out your legacy. Then you went at um, had where you're supposed to win the title oh, and beat yeah, yeah. and Al oh, sorry, and then they finished second. Mm. They were leading when he came. Mm. Yo, mm, I hear that. Messi, Messi, I Tony hear Grant. that. Mm, I can hear it. I hear I that. Hear I'm gonna hear it. Um, I think the most heroic moment of the season is Mbappe. Like, that is the clutch moment of the season. That's one of the greatest football moments I've ever seen in my life. I know. So, I, I, I'm, I, I, that that made that that was the season's peak. <coughs> I hear that. That final, that volley in the final was the season peak. There won't be a better moment for a long time. 
than that Mbappe equaliser. That cat is flooding Emmy Martinez. <laughs> Can't lie, man. This season was kind of mid, bro. I'm trying to... In Argentina. This season, this season was very um, Argentina? anti-climax. Yeah, but it's a World Cup, basically. Like. Yeah. Come on, Messi. You're giving Messi all them flowers. Give, 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 yeah, but give it, just, Emmy it, some. it feels so long ago at this point. It doesn't even feel like this season, to be honest with you. I'm thinking it was like anti climax. Season. This season was anti climax. Everyone in the league's basically won, mm. and PSG won it like barely. Barcelona mm. barely got it. it I don't know, man. Bayern basically won on a technicality. I wouldn't say it's a very memorable. City game. didn't have to win a game to win the league, bro. Arsenal lost other games for them. Mm. Rodri. Rodri, uh, heroic. Yeah, I would say. Rodri, so. definitely that final goal. Ossiman, uh, was he? Is he really the hero though? Mm, uh, Batman and Robin. Yeah, that's, that's a Batman and Robin act. Him and Kvisha. Maybe Rodri um, then. And it was a nice hey, comeback story. Uh, after big up, the big up. Uh, OS, Mane punching Sane. Heroic moment that's, or villain that's moment? Dud, that's that's dud, heroic dud, moment or dud, villain dud, moment? Dud, yeah. That's duddery. That's duddery. <laughs> hey, but like, if he said what he said. What did he say again? Apparently, it was, it was some racial comments from what I heard. Yeah, but so I was like, hey, man, dudders, just, uh, you know what I mean? some black on black crime. Yeah. Yo. Mm, Yo. Oh, no. Yo, nah, that was duddery, man. <laughs> no, nah, Morocco? Morocco. Morocco, what a run! That's a, that's a heroic. Nah, that story. was yeah. for the Akis and the brothers. Hey, that's a heroic. We story. ain't never celebrated like that, man. Everyone was Moroccan during that World Cup. Everyone. Are they African though? They or are. They yes, they are African. They are Arabs. Or they They are. Uh, you heard the coach. Yeah, yeah, the coach came out and said, "We are I African. We are Arabs." I heard the. Yes, I heard one of the players. And we are Muslims. One of the players. I'm doing it for the Arab world. Hey, Bufal hype, man. Where is he nowadays, man? Who knows? Who Go cares? dribble somewhere <laughs> else, man. So are they doing it for the Arab world or Africans? Or are they doing it for They're both? doing it for the whole world. How about that? Uh, uh, Next question. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> trying to divide everyone. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> hey, Michael Griggs, big him up as well. He says, um, worst performance from a player this season. Oh, that's easy. Open Meccano. Oh, yeah. That's easy. First that's leg easy. or second leg? Uh, both. <laughs> both. Because <laughs> you got... Both. <laughs> Which one? Both. I think that first leg was crazy. The first crazy. leg was crazy, but then the second leg to be eaten grass while yeah. while to Howland, bro. While put on, How is Howland putting you on your bro, ass? Bro? He literally made a pause. Yo. He made he made it look like like Ronaldinho, bro. Yeah. He looked like Ronaldinho. Do you know what I'm saying? Ruben oh. Diaz versus El Nestri. Who was that one? Yeah, yeah, grass. For oh that. no, no, he got dunked on, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that was embarrassing. Stuff. I, I love Ruben Diaz, but that World uh, International is never works out well for us, man. Yeah. The, the Bruyne versus Canada was, was Wait, mm, the Bruyne versus Canada was <laughs> spooky, bro. Honestly. Lukaku. Lukaku yeah, sorry, versus sorry, sorry. Croatia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't even believe I forgot that. I am sorry. That's the worst performance. I am ever. sorry. Hey, big up. Who, who said it in the chat as well? Um, Dembele World Tom Cup MBG. Final. Dembele World Cup final was bad, bro. That was a... <laughs> Kolomwani gets a lot of criticism, but there was a lot of criminals at that World Cup final. Yeah, I can't lie. Bro, Kolomwani changed the game, bro. Bro, yeah. No, I, I, I was going to say, no, yeah. the miss actually did yeah, it dirty because yeah. he actually came on and did well. There's that, a few. Ooh, there's about, a few. About face against Liverpool. Uh, yeah, yeah. Two <laughs> own goals. Two own goals, goals yeah. bro. Yeah. And come on. No, but no, it's Luka. I think Dembele's, I think Opa Makano's back to back legs. Yeah. And then Lukaku. I think those. And then Lukaku, yeah. <sighs> Lukaku, bro. Honestly, it was like out of, it was out of like a comedy or something mm. like that. Bro, even what adds insult to injury is the Champions League final Lukaku as well, where he yeah. came on, similar thing kind of happened. Mm. Where he had two yeah. chances full to no, him. Be- bro, the but last the Belgium game against one? Croatia, mm. five. Bro, they just kept five. getting worse and worse and bro, worse, bro. I counted five, and I said, no. Kabish, yeah. you are not him. Yeah. You are not him. Yeah. I think, so, I think uh, those, yeah. I think those... Oh, let's not even forget Luke Shaw at, at, um, Luke Shaw versus Liverpool. That wasn't that wasn't he, great. Christ. <laughs> let's not forget that. He's trying Ooh, to dodge that. Ooh, the seven nillers. Yeah, I, yeah. I, who, yeah. who is the seven nil stunk it up the most? Yeah, 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 Luke Shaw. Hey. Yeah. He was, he yeah, Luke Paul. Yeah. You know what I mean? Aye. Luke Shaw. But, um, I like yeah. this award. PK I... versus Inter. Huh? PK versus Inter. <laughs> yeah. Aye. Waving it, uh, waving it into he the He actually net, helped bro. Inter get to the final. because Bro, he, he retired yeah. after that. Literally, literally. <laughs> no, that's that's Dudley. Really and I'm going to set up the Kings League. Do you know what? I actually think that... I actually... <laughs> You're fucked. You're fucked. <laughs> no, but I think this next award no, is actually he... perfect for PK. Big up um, Ari TH Feeder. He says the You're Not That Guy award. And you're not that guy. I got it. Anthony telling Casemiro, I'm a score for you. <laughs> no, that's the one. That's the one. No, that's the Yo, one. even Casemiro didn't believe this. He didn't even look at him. He said, Don't talk to me, man. 
Hey. Hey. No, that's crazy. That's crazy. Um, yeah, probably that to be fair. Anthony, yeah, that's your Lautaro. You got Martinez. the whole lot of them, bro. <laughs> Champions League final. Nah, World I wouldn't Cup say. Final. <laughs> but what can we say? What you're not that guy? Well, yeah. No, oh, oh. You okay, this okay. was supposed to be the time you were that guy, and you're not that guy, bro. The hey ever severe. We kind of knew yeah, the hey wasn't that guy though. Guy, yeah, but I, Ten Hag knew he wasn't that guy after hey, that day. <laughs> you know what? I'll be honest with you. As much as I love this guy, Kvisha versus AC Milan in the Champions League this season. Mm. You were not that guy, bro. Second and leg you know why I say that? Good. Second leg, he had a good game. But who was the guy marking Calabria. him at right back? Calabria. There we mm. go. I got one as well. I'm going to whisper it. You got to whisper it. Oh, I know what you're going to say. Sakopi was that. Oh! Oh! Hey! Ding, 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 ding! We have a winner! We have a winner! Ding, ding, ding! Saka versus West Ham. Penalty miss. Hey. No, it don't kill right. me, bro. On the half. Oh, shit. Nah, hey, listen. Title on the line. These guys are saying Partey versus Southampton, that 90th minute long shot. Mm. No, right. Hey, <laughs> circulate it to the fullback, my <laughs> <laughs> Hey, no, some no, good no, shouts like, coming in though, funny. man. Kane versus France. Who? Oh my. Kane versus God. France. Kane versus France for sure. That's a you're not that guy. For, for sure. sure. That, that was a big. That was the. You're not him. Fact, no, that was a big. Fact. Also, another one. Richarlison versus Liverpool. Oh, the top off. Scoring the equalizer. Top yeah. off. This is your moment. I've arrived. 30 seconds later, mm -hmm. you're not that guy. Mm. You're not that guy, pal. That yeah. Guy, pal. That Kane like, moment was. That, I think that actually might take it. You that was, you was the definition. Yeah. crazy after that. Yeah, that was the definition of World you're not, Cup, you're, you're not him, as well. Yeah. And the fact that he scored over twenty penalties yeah. for England and in the biggest one you've had, you skied. Come on. Him bro. and Saka joint. Yeah? Him and you, Saka. You joint. really want Saka in there, innit? Mm. Come on, this ain't the first this ain't the first fence. Ooh. Do we want to talk about England misses <laughs> for Saka? Do we want to go there? <laughs> Don't let this conversation get uncomfortable now. Mm. Don't let this conversation. Hey, listen. Mm. Hands, don't let me go there. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hey, <laughs> VVD taking the first pen for the Dutch against Argentina. Hey, leave that shit to the strikers, no, man. 100%. <laughs> I remember that was one of he the. thought he was Ron Vlar. Bro. They don't love you like that. He ain't that guy, man. Bro, I remember that, was, that was pure ego. You've never taken penalties. You've never been first in penalties. But all of a sudden. You want to overcompensate for mm. not having been at international tournaments, mm. finally showing up and getting to one. I, was, gl I was glad that moment happened to humble him and remind him, you're not. Hey, this guy, guy might be the villain of the year. Bro. How are you guy. saying you're happy your own team is. Nah, <laughs> because when he stepped out, I said, What are you doing? Uh, bro, do you know, Holland, the history we have with centre back stepping up and missing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stam. Valar. Oh, oh, Lord, the list is endless. Boomer. Bularoos. <laughs> Cuz. And now Van Dijk. Hey, get your ponytail out of here, man. Please. Did Ake score his? Or did he not take one? Who? Uh, no, no, no. Take it one. Don't let Ake oh, score his penalty. Please, man. Hey. Ake's not <laughs> made it. It would have been crazy. It would have been crazy. Let me see. Van Dijk thought shit was sweet because of the Keppo one. Remember that? <coughs> yeah. Um, oh, I like this one, actually. Big up scout appreciation. Football meme of the year. <laughs> there is some good memes over the year. Football meme of the year? Yeah. As in, like, from a player? Like, You're a walking meme, so. Any Leah's woman. Sit back up. <laughs> sit back up <laughs> serve. Not everything deserves a reaction. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Job not finished. <laughs> job. Oh my god. Hey, job wasn't finished, by the way, huh? Cam got all excited. <laughs> I keep that shit to myself, boy. <laughs> Yo, hold up. No, hold up. <laughs> meme of the year, if it's coming from me. Was not, what's not to like, bro? Yeah, I bro. Like, I see not people. To like say, was good. Bro, yeah. I, I, I had people adding that to like hey. the way they talk now. They just say that shit. I can't lie. That was a good. One. I used that on, as a bit but, of riz, and it worked. I can't lie. <laughs> <laughs> I said you even things get bitches. That's crazy. I, I used that like one time. I even screenshot it to myself. Said, Yo, watch this. I'm a journalist. She sent me a number. <laughs> This is what we do! I said, what's that the like? What's that the like? <laughs> that's crazy. I'm taking credit for that shit. <laughs> oh, hey, that's, hey, oh, that's our man. woman. <laughs> Yo, hey, that is too. You can have a Tuesday. <laughs> hey, no, don't kill me, man.
Um, oh my god, nah, there's some great shouts coming in. Nah, this is why I love there's the There's been a lot, you know. I, I, I have to say, the number one contender, and I think the actual winner, mm. Lisandro Martinez versus Salah. Nah, nah, I that's can't not lie. Go, man. I can't yeah, lie. Go, more, man. Nah, the, I've not, never yeah. seen that. That mean, mm. I'm sorry, I was in tears. That and uh, Perisic Van Dyke, those were the two this season. Where a player what, got when, cooked. When, um, what, when, when, I ain't never when seen he, him. He, he ain't him got no song. That he, <laughs> that, he ain't got no song that he should be acting like this. Um, <laughs> I, I, I think there's an Anthony. History. There's an Anthony one also for this. For which one? When he lifted up the shirt for Pele before the game because no, he I knew he wasn't gonna it. score. I just deeped it. The nah, the meme of the season is obviously the Mbappe. Um, I'll be there no matter what. Was that it this is year? The most, that's the oh, most used this meme. Of no, I'm sure that was last year. I mean, it was four. Um, it was four because he said that he's going to stay at PSG in it. So that sh should have been from the summer, no? Nah, bro. Kylian Mbappe it. on playing for PSG in the twenty twenty one. Oh, this but people weren't. When did it really start? I feel like this. I, season, yeah, this I do get what you're saying. This season yeah. it took off, but it was a quote from. I will be there no matter what. It's I, definitely because yeah. even yeah, even Pep no. remixed it. Yeah, we will be there. We will be there. We will be there. Yeah. We'll be there. We'll be there. We'll be there. I think I that's hear it. There's one. some good shouts yeah. coming in though. That's a big one. Pep had loads. I feel like this yeah, yeah. bigger fish Pep to fry. Pep is quotable, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bigger fish to fry. The bigger fish to fry was hilarious. Who cool. oh, Conte, yeah. Cecil's AFTV shirt. Hmm. Oh, that's the worst <laughs> meme of the season. <laughs> Merry Christmas, you filthy. Oh animals. my god. Oh my I'm, lord. I'm finding the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, that's no. the worst meme. <laughs> that's the worst meme. That's up no. there with um, Fulham Dem Man, bro. No. I'm telling you. That, is, that we Merry Christmas, you feel the animal. It's awful. Bro. Hey, Gomez Ice Spice was oh, crazy. Bro, I can't lie. He's not too crazy on the internet. Man. Nah, I can't <laughs> lie, bro. Hold on. Was no, Sancho was Troops picture? That got regurgitated after every. Was that this season or last year? I feel like uh, that was that's last, year. last season. I feel like that was last year. Yeah, last year he was cooking with that. Yeah. Every week was a like cash money, ten yeah. k likes. Yeah. That oh was man, last season, yeah. But that one, um, hey, right, two short Conte handshake. That's what I say. Yeah, yeah, ah, yeah that was football. that was good actually. That one with um, oh, that Sancho guy that looks like Sancho in the wheelchair that's doing the drill tune. Have you seen that I've one? I've seen it. I think I know which one he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, have you seen the one yet? Yeah. The two, um, the two, um, the little people. <laughs> Man, that's, that's last season. That was last season, I think, though. Like, which <laughs> the one, the one, <laughs> he's, and he's, they're he's rapping. Oh, yeah. And they're on yeah, the yeah, actual yeah, yeah. turf. And people are like, one is Sancho, one is Juan Bissaka. <laughs> That was last season. Oh, was man. Last season. The internet kills me, I swear. That was last season, still. <laughs> you see, as toxic as Twitter is yet, it's yeah. these gems why I stay. It's stupid, <laughs> man. That app is crazy. All right, last one. Last one. Um, Right, last award. Uh, I think i got to go to IG once. Yeah. You know what? For, for that hero of the season as well, I, I want to throw in West Ham in there, man. I love what they did, bro. Winning that. You haven't told us a bro. trillion times already. Nah, God I love damn. what they did, man. I love what they did. This guy's man. an honorary. That's what I'm saying. David Moyes' first trophy in that long ass career, bro. That was amazing, bro. That was amazing for me personally. Hey, um, one sec. My phone's taking a minute, bro. Airport this way. What is it that you were saying oh, yeah. during we're the saying, World Cup? Now they're saying Alphabet FC this way. Yeah. Kid was annoying me, man. Now, nah, but during the World Cup, that one girl who's saying about Ronaldo, she's oh, like, she got she is like she Portugal got Airport that way. Yeah, she got <laughs> crucified, bro. She got crucified. That was crazy. <laughs> Stellini and Deserbi. Stellini and Deserbi. Remember that the, really the Tottenham Brighton game where Stellini is like looking in the camera? Discussion. They're not like awards, if I'm honest. These are, we will have to do like another Q&A Whoa, episode, David you know. Ornstein just reported this. Saudi Arabian club Al-Hilal have agreed a 47 million pound fee of Wolves for the signing of Ruben Neves. What? That is the first like player in their prime, I would say, mm. going to Saudi Arabia. I'm sorry, but I'm literally, Ruben Neves is a, Neves is a, a bit of a dud. Because uh, the whole point of you moving to Wolves when they were in the championship, when people were saying that was a money grab, because yeah, let's not forget they had the new ownership. And then you come to the Premier League, you were supposed to move to one of the top six clubs. It never seems to happen. Mm -hmm. He's linked to Barcelona all summer. They're yeah, trying to raise yeah, yeah. funds, apparently. And now you're going to go in your prime. 
Don't do an Oscar, brother. Please, man. We've had enough. I can't lie, though, bro. Nah. Hey, uh, n- never since career. never since Montino ain't been cat holding his hand. Mm. Nah. Hey, I'm with you, bro. Now nah. Montino's nah. left. Nah. Nah. Bro, yo, I, I keep saying Off to this. Saudi, mate. It's, it's a shame for me because I would have liked to see him take the next step up or at least try it. Yeah. But, bro, I, I can't question anybody who, who goes for the money, bro. That money is generational, bro. Yeah. That, mo- that money what's is it, What are they saying they're going to pay him? I, I don't know, but mm. if they're willing From to pay 15 million. What team is it? Uh, what was it? Al Hilal. People Al-Hilau, were saying okay. like these Saudi teams are just offering contracts; they're not paying fees. Brother, we got players for you, man. Richarlison, forty-seven got million Emerson, pounds. We got Martial if they want. Bro, I'm everyone's getting you, signed, but Martial is Neves only worth forty-seven million. No, no European team wanted to bid that for him. To be fair, I think that's like premium money for yeah, a European yeah, team, yeah, and no yeah, team's trying to have him as like a key cog. No top team. Anyway. Mm. I feel like any team that would is like a Spurs or whatever. Mm. But. To be fair, I was going to say, there ain't hold really up, no hold up, other... Hold up. Meme of the year is that Jason Tindall guy from Newcastle, bro. Oh, my God. The assistant coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, that, that was, shit. That viral, was yes, incredible. I can't lie. And the fact that that guy had like been doing that for like months yeah, yeah, yeah. without even any traction. It was just out of the, the, the hatred one. of his heart. The funniest one is the one he got, he got aired for the handshake by, oh, uh, by Gary by O'Neill. Gary real men. You see what yeah, real men do? Yeah, see that. Real recognized like, real. Bro, I'm, let, me, man, let me shake the manager's hand first, yeah. bro. Who the hell are you, bro? Kneel Shots in the super chat. He says, um, when Henri said Vinny was cooking. He's cooking. He's cooking. He's cooking. He's yeah, cooking. Yeah. No, to cooking. be fair, Henri and Kate Abdo. Mm. Oh, yeah. That was some good content. That was some good content there. I hear it. Mm. I hear it. I hear it too still. CBS doing it. their thing for real. Hey, doing listen, their thing. You need some academy talent? Hit us up. Mm. <laughs> 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 the mark one, man. Oh, man. Um... I big up everyone that's been inside though, man. We were literally say, saying, yeah. oh, this is probably going to be 300 people stream, you know, just a light little one. People watch it later. No, We've had real. like 900 people inside, bro. That's no, like, for real. I was going to say even good. like for the whole season, man, because mm-hmm. obviously this is going to be the final episode. Mm-hmm. Just appreciate everyone who's obviously been tuning in. Bare people who've crossed over from when we were at 360. Yeah. Of course, now been with FTBL this year. Mm-hmm. Growth's been incredible as well. Mm-hmm. Bare shit. From the World Cup, as you said, felt like months ago, bro. But it's been a, it's been an absolute madness. We'll bro. see what happens. We'll see what happens next year. Yeah. But no matter what, we know you guys are are, are rocking with us. Yeah. So we'll still be here next year. Thanks. You know what I mean? But <clears throat> we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens next season, innit? They're saying I ain't Academy talent. I'm 38. <laughs> <laughs> I set myself this up. Ali Dia, bro. <laughs> 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 hey, listen. Hi, new young fellows. <laughs> Trust me. Yeah, the, 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 the picture of his license. I am no, 15. No, you know when we went to go watch um, White Man Can't Jump? And that brother made it to the G League. <laughs> He's like, you're like 40 years old, bro. <laughs> About 10 day contract. Who's the hey, guy that the hey. Lakers picked up that one year? Bro? Yeah, that's who. I can't remember his name. Bro. Andre, Andre yeah. Ingram. Andre Ingram. Andre Ingram. 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 Guy, I love this story, man. Hey, listen. Make sure you're following up all the socials anyway. Of course, Leah's on at Twitter and Instagram. Mm-hmm. Cam's on Twitter and Instagram as well. TikTok as well, you boys. Yeah, yeah. Make, make, sure, make sure, man. Make sure. Hit us up on all Leah's those platforms. back active on YouTube as well. Yes, doing sir. up, you know, his, his special yes, stories. Yes, I've got yes, stuff sir. coming What's the latest one you got coming? You want to tease it? You want to let them know? You're not going to let Hazard, bro. Mm. Hazard looks like he's so retired. If you want to hear, you know... Running around all over the track. Oh, so it's, <laughs> if I said that shit, oh, we would all run out the room. Oh, when Fuad says it, yeah, it's nah, like, yo, that, that's, take it easy, young fella. That's, that's, ah, that's, 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 that's crazy. Play! <laughs> now, nah, the hazard video coming out tomorrow. Check that shit out. Yeah, yeah nah, yeah. so. And obviously, you're. you're yeah, I'm doing a few things, YouTube man. Well, so. I'm, I'm writing a few scripts as well. Got a good one coming out, you know, soon. Looking for some editors, of course, to get yeah. that one. To yeah. get that one going, but as I said, yeah, make sure you stay tuned with on our individual platforms. Follow Stoppage Times Twitter as well. You know the Instagram. Twitter. Make sure you follow Stoppage Times Twitter, the Instagram, TikTok as well. But yeah, as we said, listen for Stoppage Time. This is probably it for the summer. Um, we'll see what happens in August. But yeah, we we'll let you, you know, know it's we'll the summer. The it's the summer. Everything. Business is business. You know what I'm saying? So mm. we got our business to sort out as mm-hmm. well. So yeah, man, we'll see what we'll see right. what happens. Thanks for see real. Listen, make sure you like the stream as you're leaving. Make sure you subscribe to the channel on the way out. Oh yeah, well, me haven't. and ha- don't me and Harry as well. Inside scoop. Hey, that'll be carrying on. You know, I got a holiday. Well, yeah. I got a holiday coming up, but after that, from not this week, next week. Yeah, we'll be dropping some inside scoop hey. stuff as well. Me and HP next season. That's gonna go crazy. You two got something. 
crazy dropping over the summer yes, as well. Oh, we don't I know, know you lot forgot. That. What's hey, going on with that? Hey, hey, hey. I won't speak too much, but mm. this is why it's important you stay in tune just mm-hmm. outside the shows. Or there's so much going on in the yeah. summertime. There's always extracurricular activities. Mm-hmm. Last year, we were at NBA events and all sorts. So listen, make sure you stay locked in. We appreciate everyone who supported the journey so far. Plenty more to come as well. Mm-hmm. We are out and we'll catch you guys next season, man. Take care. Big up, man. Big up. Peace. Clear.